Hello, how are you guys doing? Uh, happy Wednesday. I'm happy. Well, Wednesday, the, the week is almost over. The weekend is coming. I hope your week has been going great. So just to, so you know, guys, we're live on Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. So hopefully, hello, wherever you're from, wherever you're watching it from, I want to say. Suzette is already here. We got a girl that is on time tonight, on time. So I'm excited. We're not going to make her way too long. So I just want to say hello real quick. Uh, hey, Dan. Hey, Trey Berry. Miss Natural Michelle. Hello. Uh, Timothy Charles Spears. Mr. John. Uh, Super Meerkat. What's up? Uh, Matchless Mingler. Life with Brian. It's Nizi. Uh, young John, the sauce god. Okay. You guys be having some weird names. Um, Takim Hilton. Hello. Charles Spears. Hector Amador. Hello, everyone. Hello. You know, I can't I can read. So hello. Um, all right. Before we start, also, if you want to come and shoot your shot, it's uh, people already joining in. So if you, you need to come in early so you can shoot your shot at Suzette, Suzette. So the link is in the description of this video. If you want to bother me, you can send me an email at melimonaco1 at gmail.com. But it's better if you just click the link that's in the description so you can come in and um, wait for your turn, kind of, you know? So come now so you don't gotta wait too long. Also, uh, I wanna talk to you, you already know, about my book. So if you guys wanna get the girl of your dreams or if you just wanna play the girl, I mean, it, it goes both ways. There is a section for that too. But this is called the Ultimate Love Cheat Code. So if you wanna get it, you go to shopmelimonaco.com and you will find the book as well as, well as the ebook and the course. If you get the course, so it's just me talking and, uh, you know, being animated and you get a 20 minute video call with me, one on one private. Nobody sees us. I'm not recording it. You can talk to me about whatever you want. So go over there and get that for me. Uh, what else? OK, I'm sorry. I got so many promos today, but I need to say thank you to this guy. Uh, where is his Instagram? I thought I found his Instagram already. Let me go find the Instagram. So I can shout him out because he sent me some fire ass shoes. Let me see. Where did I put his Instagram? Here we go. Yes. All right. So he made me some custom made shoes. And I was like, oh, wow. Thank you so much. Here we go. So guys, go check him out. Uh, did I put the banner up? No, I didn't. Right here. So right here. So this is his IG. So go check him out for me because, yo, he's doing an amazing job. So let me show you what shoes he made for me. So he was like, I can, I don't know what that's called when they put it in the plastic. But he was like, I can do the plastic for you. And um, so I don't think I'm going to wear them. I'm going to keep them. So look at this. Pineapple shoes. Um, what he says on this side. Le spectacle de l'ananas. So that's the pineapple show in French. He put Melly Motors, you know, when I'm reviewing cars. What's up, lovers? He went all out. The pineapple show. Yes. So is there another side that I didn't read? No, that's it. That's it. I did everything. So yes, so you guys. Oh, and the back. The back is cool too. Like he went all out. So I really appreciate you. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, it says remix kicks. I don't know if you guys see in the proper way, but yeah. So I really like them. I probably won't wear them because they're so awesome. But hey, check him out for me. Check him out. Somebody said it's counterfeit. It's not counterfeit. It's a remix, like he calls it. All right, so that's all I have. So since Suzette is on time, we're going to go straight to Suzette now. Let's go. Hello. Hello. Oh, my God, you're so pretty. So are you. You're beautiful. Uh, thank you. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Let me just adjust this. I'm like, I didn't know it's going to be this narrow. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah. Or okay. you can put it closer to you if you want. Yeah, that's what I'm like. Let me go. Let me just fix this lighting. Yeah. You know, trying to be all professional here. Yes. <laughs> guys, I, okay, because guys be complaining, telling me, oh, the girl is not cute. I'm like, whoever tells me that Suzette is not cute. Um, they, they haven't said that yet, but I'm already giving a disclaimer because I'm like, now you're tripping. <laughs> so, well, you, it. I see you bring beautiful girls on, so I don't know what they're talking about. Yes, you know, <laughs> haters, 
Yeah. Spice Girls vibe, you know, so they, they're going to say shit, but look, she's fire. Oh, thank yes. you. You're the best. They're already starting with you, so. Oh, you guys are yes. so She's Thank very beautiful. You. Yes, she is. Damn, she's fine. Yes. <laughs> so you guys better pull up early. That's all I got to say. Cause Come on in. Yes, this is going to be the show. Um, <laughs> all right. So what I want to say is uh, welcome. Would mm -hmm. you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, why not? Hi, everybody. My name is Suzette. Um, I'm originally from Stanford, Connecticut, which is a small ass city outside of New York, um, born and raised, but I was the first American born. I'm Jamaican and Chinese. So Ooh. I have a, I have a lot of flavor, a lot of flavor that a lot of people can't handle. Um, but yeah, I, like I said, my father's Chinese, but he had a deep Jamaican accent. Um, so very odd. People never understood that. And I went to college in Miami, spent 10 years in Miami, lived in LA for six years, and now I'm temporarily in Houston, Texas. So yeah. yeah. A little bit about me, yeah. I do um, a background of my career wise. I've done, I'm an actor, content creator, you know, influencer, all that whole nine yards. But like acting is my passion. I also do real estate in the Miami market. Um, I'm a TV host, so I talk a lot with my hands. So if you see that, <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. I'm with you. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been in the industry since I was five, and I just I love the camera. That's really truly my passion. Nice. Yeah. Okay, oh. well, hey, that sounds good. I'm reading the comment. If you see me not looking at you, I'm just reading the comment because you know you, girl. going crazy. I hear um, you. All good. Mm -hmm. They say she's girl. sexy. Okay, they, they're starting attacking you. They say you can't cook. So who said that? Have, they said that because you have long nails. Is it are they uh, right or wrong? Okay, listen. I know to cook certain meals. Okay, and I, I won't say I know to cook everything. But I know to cook certain meals. I know what I'm good at and I know what I'm not good at. So mm -hmm. I'll just stick to that. Okay, that is fine. Hey, you know, we don't we don't gotta be chefs. We Thank just gotta you. be able to cook. Exactly. I can throw okay. down when I need to. Mm -hmm. That's why we okay. have all these things like Hello Fresh and all that stuff. You know, it has all the ingredients. You just have to follow the recipe. So that I can do. Yeah, can that's do. not hard. I agree. Yeah. Exactly. All right, so we already got some uh, super chats. Uh, the Black Albert Chemist, thank you. Peace and love, Melly, thank you. Uh, $20 super chat, Trey Haynes, keep doing what you do, ladies. Gentlemen, uh, you better come correct tonight. That's what I'm talking about. Come correct, please. Yes. Um, yes, and uh, beautiful ladies, have a great show tonight. Thank you, Sean. All right, so um, you are single. Just yes. So we, so we know. Okay, you are single. and. Um, so yes. <laughs> so what what are you looking for in your man? What is like the the main qualities you're looking for? You know what? I, I feel like I feel like the man that I want does not exist. So I hope some guy there is gonna prove me wrong because I have my expectations are a little high and I've been trying to lower it because the perfect man does not exist, right? Agreed. So yes. I'm I'm honestly looking for a man that has a great head on a head on his shoulders, that has family values, wants to start a family because that's something I want. And um, someone that is financially stable. And when I mean that, I mean like not a bum, someone that is working their way towards the top or already is, is, you know, is there. I want someone to motivate me to get there as well. So, and, you know, caring and loving, I'm very affectionate um, and I'm a go-getter. So I just need someone to match my hustle and let's take over the world together. Okay. That, that sounds nice. Okay. <laughs> so let's talk about, um, okay. I I'm, I'm reading and they're like, how are you so fine and you're single? What, what would you say the, the main reason is it because you're a little, like you say, your standards are kind of high or it's something else. I think yes, that too. But then again, we're living in a world today that it's just hard to find that perfect person with social media and all this. Like, it's just, I haven't found him, you know, it's just, mm -hmm. no one wants to be with just one woman. And nowadays, which is sad, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what I want. You know, I grew up with my mom and my dad and they were great parents. And I, I just want to have that, you know, th just those values. And um, it's just, it's just hard to find, honestly, truly. I agree. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's talk about physical. Uh, what what type of men do you like? Let's start with um, ethnicity. 
Honestly, it doesn't matter. Ethnicity does not matter to me. I'm mixed. I'm diverse. You know, I I appreciate anybody and everybody. You just have to be a great man. So ethnicity doesn't matter to me. Okay. What about uh, is height? How tall are you? Okay, I'm short. I'm very short. I'm like 5'2". That's the Asian side of me. <laughs> I'm so great. Okay. So, I mean, any guy that's taller than me, I'll take. So you're good with five three, five four. Okay, okay, that's a little. <laughs> that, that's what you said. You okay. said anyone taller than me. Let me reverse that. Let me reverse. Yes. That. I would say, okay, at least five seven, five seven and up. That would be great. But like I said, I'm open minded. Okay, five seven. Um, what's your what's the preference? Is there a preference or? Uh, not really. I like I said, I just. Listen, I love I love tall guys. Don't get me wrong. I love tall. Like, you know, I was a cheerleader for like 10 years. So I was I was always around athletes like in high school, college. So I like to stretch my neck all the way up to give you a hug. But like I said, like five, seven, five, eight. That's a, that's a, my dad. I'll, I'll take it as well. OK, sounds good. Um, what's the age range? Age range. Oh, Lordy. Oh, my God. OK. Um, I would say, listen, you just got to be mature. And when I say mature, because I know a lot of youngins are very mature nowadays, but if I had to put an age stamp on it, I would say maybe 26, 27, 28-ish. Okay. And there's no there's no cap for me. <laughs> there's no end cap for me. I mean, okay, okay, not 80 or anything like that, but I mean, I'll date 40s, 50s. Okay. I'm a mature uh, woman. You gotta be able to handle me. Would you would you like to reveal your age? Huh? Do I have no. to? No, you don't have to. But <laughs> I, I'm just asking because they probably are gonna ask. So we can say that you don't want to say it if that's what, what you want to do. I mean, whatever. I don't even care at this point. You can find it on the internet. So I my birthday just passed. I just turned 35. 35. Okay, you good. You good. Like, <laughs> I'm having like an anxiety attack, low key. <laughs> 35 is cool. Like, you know what you want. And uh, I'm glad that you're willing to go a little younger because I do believe like sometimes 26, 27, they're pretty mature sometimes. Yeah. So I agree. 50. Okay. So yeah. it's pretty broad. So guys, you see, she she's not really picky yet. Five, uh -huh. seven, between 26 and 50. So, so, yeah. so pull up. Uh, any ethnicity, so you're really not picky at this point. Uh, no. Let's see about uh, money. How much money does he need to make? Like I said, I'm all about a go-getter and someone that's climbing their way to the top. You just got to be active in the, you know, you just have to be active. So yearly salary, oh my God, that's going to be the hard part. Okay, yearly salary, I would definitely say maybe like, oh, 50k is too low for me. I'm sorry because if I'm making more than I just I can't. I okay. Okay. Let's stick to 100k maybe. 100? What I'm you said first? right now. So maybe 100k. 100k is the minimum? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, we're going to try but right there is where you might lose a lot of chances. I know, but I'm open minded but you got you guys out there need to understand I love to travel. That's one thing that I'm passionate about. I want to travel with you. So get your coins up so we can see the world. Before okay, so, uh, okay, so question. If you are with him, and um, does he need to pay for your travels or he can pay for his and you pay for yours? I mean, I want a gentleman. You better be able to pay for me. At least my flight or something or the hotel stay. We got to compromise here. We got okay, so he pays for the hotel, but you pay for your flight. Possibly. Okay. okay. Okay, that, that, that I, point. I got a lot of points, so possibly. <laughs> so it could be free still for you. Yeah, you know? yeah, true. Okay. Uh, all, right. know, all about compromising. I agree. All yeah. right. Well, guys, she still sounds good to me. Uh, Raymond, thank you for your ten dollars super chat. It's not hard to find a quality man. You ladies have to know what quality men want, and it's young women, not older than twenty-one to twenty-six. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Wow. Well, wow. a lot of people are going to be disqualified. Yeah. Uh, but, okay. Okay. So thank you. Thank you for your um, insights. 
Yeah. So uh, I think I think that's oh no, one more question. Can you have kids? Yeah, at this point in time, yeah. At first I will say it was like no, but now mm -hmm. I'm I'm totally open there. I'm just at that age where it just it a lot of people have kids. So yeah, that's okay. okay. All right, well but just remember you better be good with your baby mother because I don't like no baby mother drama. I've already been there, done that. I am with it. So, okay. Yeah. So how many how many kids is there a top on how many kids they have? Or oh uh, I hope not surpassing at least four. That's a lot. Okay, four. Yeah. Okay. All right. One. Uh, how many baby moms? Oh my God, Jesus! Nowadays, I guess four. Oh my God, four. <laughs> that's a lot, though. So, so you're cool with four baby moms? No, I'm here. not. I'm not. But I'm just saying. Okay, no, I would say the most two. Two. Two baby moms, four kids. Yeah. Okay. Jeez, that even sounds bad. I mean, I think it's doable though. I know. Like I said, I'm just, I'm just, it's it's normal nowadays. So I'm just being okay with it just because I get it. Our society yeah. has changed. So I'm like, all right, I guess I just gotta take what I can take. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's starting to look like that. But uh, all right. Oh, let me put your IG because they're asking, guys. There is a bunch of uh, pictures, but she looks exactly like her pictures, so you guys can't even say shit. And likewise. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, guys, if you want to go check out her IG, it's at Suzette underscore James, and yeah. Uh, yeah, you can go now. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna start the show. Okay. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna introduce you to different men. So, a man at a time, okay. just one, one at okay. a time. And um, you can talk to him. He's going to ask you questions. You can ask questions. But if you don't really feel the vibe and you're not really interested, you just say pineapple and we move on to the next guy. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Also, there is a, a way for the, the chat, the, the audience to participate. If they don't like a guy for you and they feel like you're liking him or whatever, they're going to send a $20 um, super chat to pineapple the guy for you. That's the instant oh. pineapple. Yes. Oh, oh, okay, y'all. Do it up yeah. then. Yeah, but if you do like the person you were talking to and we receive an instant pineapple, you can talk to him again later on. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. And but can I see the chat too? Uh, you can see the, the big chat. You can only you. see the small one. Got you, got you. But the episode will be on um, on YouTube. Yeah. The, I'll watch and that. then you can go back and look and see all the comments. Yeah, so I can see what y'all are saying about me. Okay? Yes. <laughs> Trust me, they be talking. I know. Guys. Yes. All right. So so we're gonna start. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. All right. We have Emmanuel. Hello. Oh. Hey. How you doing? Hi. How first, are you? First thing I want to say, you have beautiful hair. Thank um, you. Definitely liking that. I'm trying to get my, you know, my hair to kind of look similar to that that's beautiful Likewise. and um happy birthday you say your birthday just passed right yes thank you okay you're a pisces are you i'm an aquarius so aquarius february 1st baby what are you I'm sagittarius oh you like to party oh okay um mature mature sagittarius i don't know about partying okay. like i i okay so i own a limo service so partying is something that i I'm kind of over, you know, I, you see it a lot. I've been in the business. I've been owning my own business for 10 years, for almost, a, well, for a decade now. So I'm in New Orleans. So, you know, we get to see a lot of stuff, you know? So okay. it's like, I get tired of the party. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. But yeah, back in the day, I'm 38. So probably like 10 years ago, I probably would be with that vibe. Okay, sure. I like, do you have any kids? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I have two, I have two. I have a daughter, she's uh, nine and a son that's six. And Aww. one one baby mom, one baby mom, but she was she was my ex wife. So, you know. oh, okay, so you were married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long I was were you married, married yeah, yeah. for? For ten years. Wow. What happened? If you don't mind me asking. It's a it's a it's a story. <laughs> I don't want to put all that out there. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna keep it, some okay. stuff confidential. You know what I'm saying? Like everything ain't for social media. You feel I, me? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, and I respect and I respect my baby. You know, I, I respect my ex. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't. I'm about to just do that and she not, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's yeah, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not about you. Yeah, You're yeah, very, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and like, what's your background, by the way? I'm just curious. Um, my mom's black and my dad's black, but we're Creole. We're Creole. Oh, Creole. Um, okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. And Creole is not an ethnicity, so I mean, people be thinking Creole is an ethnicity. It's not, but um, but it's it's definitely um, you know, African American, French descent, Spanish descent here in New Orleans. 
That's, who, that's how we explain it. Gotcha. I don't know how they explain it in other parts of the world, but that's how we explain it. Gotcha. You know okay. I mean? so, well, yeah, yeah, no, you're, you're definitely, you got the look. I like it. I like it. And yeah, 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 yeah. right now you're in your, are you in your limo right now? Yeah, I'm in the I'm in my Sprinter van. I'm, I got some some of my clients. They was eating. I was eating with them, but I was like, "This girl is beautiful. I'm coming in the van. Talk to her." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know you was in Houston too. You like right there, and I'm starting to uh, expand into Houston. I go to Houston twice some uh, twice a month. I'm trying to get vehicles in Houston also, so I'm gonna uh -huh. try to expand from Houston, Dallas, Atlanta, and my main base is gonna be in New Orleans. So, okay, that's dope. You know, that's dope. So, yeah. And you drive your own vehicles too, or do you have your own? Driver? I have employees, um, but I do drive certain clients, like my fun clients. Like if yeah. they fun, you know, if they going to like Pelican games, Saints games, I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay. drive them so I can okay. go. You feel yeah. me? <laughs> so, so wait, yeah, did you yeah. did you tell us, uh, us your age? Yeah, thirty eight. Thirty eight. Oh wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you you actually look even younger than you know, thirty eight. Not saying yeah. it's old. You know, big you know they say beige don't age. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. not like black don't crack, but it's a little different. You feel me? Like, <laughs> don't age. You, feel, you, don't okay. you see my dad, you you'll be like, damn I made that up. So look. Yeah. Yeah. If you see my dad, you see my dad, you're gonna be like, he looked like my brother. Like whenever we go out anywhere, they'd be like, that's who I'm like, nah, that's my dad. And he's like oh, six feet five. So. Yeah, and how he, tall he, he look by the uh, way? six foot. I'm six feet. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If I put on some Alexander McQueen's, I'm like six two. So you know. Okay. Yeah. If you got <laughs> I'll give you a, a couple of extra. Yeah, yeah, for sure say. For sure say. Hey, so how about, question for you. Yeah um if you guys move in together you i mean you're dating everything going good you guys move in mm -hmm. together who pays the rent i'm paying for everything I pay for everything when i was married um uh, my ex-wife <laughs> didn't work for seven years okay. like, oh, she, wow. like so it, it's like for our situation like i so like i'm the i'm most likely was the breadwinner in the household and her job was kind of conflicting with with the schedule so I didn't want, you know, I was like, look, you could just sit at home and just let me focus on the finances and you focus on, you know, raising the kids and stuff like that. But if if I if I did a girl and she have her own career, man, listen, we could we could make it work. Like I ain't listen, we can make it work. But I'm paying the bills though. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm gonna I'm definitely pay the bills. Providing protecting those two things, I feel like that's what a man's supposed to do. Everything else, you know, we could we could we could negotiate that. You know what I mean? We can negotiate okay. that. Yeah. I like okay. the way I'm, I'm not picking. Yeah, I like okay. it. Yeah. Yeah, and but I do, have a deal I do have a deal breaking. Let's do. I do have a deal breaking list, but we can get to that. That's a long conversation. Well, let's let's, let's hear it. Let's hear it. <laughs> All right, cool. But I'm going to give you three. I'm going to give you three. I'm going to give you three. I'm going to give you three because I got a long list. It's in my uh, notes. So, intimacy, and I'm not just talking about, you know, sex. I'm talking about the whole thing. I'm like a, I'm a PDA guy. You know, I like to slap my girl on her, you know what I'm saying? And like hold her hand and, you know, stuff like that in public. So I'm very, you know, big on intimacy. Um, I'm going to go a little shallow on these. Um, got to have nice feet. Got to have beautiful teeth. You got beautiful teeth. I don't know how your feet look. but Oh, no. God, listen. Because, I... <laughs> look, I get my feet. Look, I get my feet done. And, like, my shit nice. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want nobody to have, you know what I'm saying? Like, stuff that I don't have. I'm not going to ask you to have something I don't I don't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, no. I mean, you like what you like. That's that's okay. I hear that. You gotta yeah, be we all got our preference. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, okay. for sure, for sure. Say. Um, so what you do for work? I do I wanna ask that too. So I just besides the actress, like cause I know you, you say actress, you was an actress, but I didn't get the rest. Um, well, I am an actress and the content real creator, estate. Real estate. You say real estate. Yes, I have yeah, yes, yeah. but I do it in okay. my market. So whenever okay. like I work with my broker and I bring clients over there yeah. and vice versa. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like my passion, so that's why I moved out to LA to pursue. That's why I was about to ask you what your passion is. So, like, so long term, right? You saying like that's what you would want? Like, if you have to break everything off, that's that's something that you like want to hit goal with. Yeah, just being I, an actress. Yeah, I want to. Okay, you, you ready for that? Yeah, you mentally ready for being an actress? I've been. I've been <laughs> five, so I, I've been ready. Okay. Wait, I'm just asking. This is a question. I don't know your. I don't know your history. I might have to go look you up. No, Let's totally. see what movies you've been in. Oh, I mean, I've done a few things. I've done a okay. few things. Yeah. I mean, you got a big personality. You know what I'm saying? You got a big personality. So, yeah. um, okay. Now, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back and eat. I'm going back and eat dinner. No, um, but, but I'm going to follow you on the, on the ground. I screenshotted it. 
my name is Emmanuel Bruce. So I like, you know okay. what I'm saying? You're going to see me. Yeah, that's going to be me. That's my everything like that. Okay. So nice to meet you. Thank Last you for keeping uh, having time. me on, Millie. I'm sorry, Emmanuel. I have one more question because uh, that's, I think, a deal breaker for her. I know you already have two kids. Do you want to have more? Of course. I love okay. kids. I coach my son's football team. I got a bunch of little kids. You know what I'm saying? That's not my kids. You feel me? So I love kids. If she want to have more kids, listen, that's, she want to make that decision. I'm, I'm going to give it to her. Okay. So, yeah. I like that. Okay. <laughs> awesome. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit you because I do be in yeah. Houston and I know you like to go, I know you like to go out to eat. That's my favorite thing to do is go to dinner, sit down, eat. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Look cute, look nice. I know you're going to be beautiful, smelling good. Hold on. One last question. Name, name two fragrances that you wear that you really, really like to wear. Uh, well, one, damn, this is, I guess I'm going to give my, it's YSL. I love my okay. YSL and I have, um, I mean, Baccarat too. Oh, I mean, Nietzsche, you got to put a Nietzsche in there. I got you. I got yeah. you. Yeah. All right, bet, bet. All right. Now, well, you know, I'm going to hit you. You go to Saks, pick, pick up a bottle. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to pick up a bottle for myself. Sad <laughs> Moon, I could, I could get whatever one you want. I, I like all, I like all fragrances. I got a refrigerator. Well, a little freeze that have all my all my fragrances. Oh, dope. okay. So you be yeah, smelling yeah. good. All right, I like it. Got to. All right, all babe. Right. So I hit you on the I hit you on the Sounds DM. Sounds good. Thank nice you, Millie. Thank you. Have a good night. Right, <laughs> he said he sells fragrances. I cannot. Yeah, no, the chat is out of control. <laughs> um, <laughs> do they like the? Do you like him? I like him for you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think he. I mean, he has. He said two kids, one baby mom. Yeah. That, that's pretty decent, I think. Yeah. Um, I'm curious to know why they divorced after 10 years, though. Mm. What I mean, happened? you know, they say 70% of divorces are um, initiated by uh, by the women. So, oh, true. Know. That is very true. Huh. You got your facts. So and usually it's because they're bored. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! I hear you. I hear all right. You. Well, we we have more people, so we we got one maybe. Okay, that's one maybe. Yep, that's one maybe. But I'm ready to you know see some more. This is see fun. some more. Yeah. Let's see. Good. Uh, youngest Lord, sir. Green is black. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't think he's ready, and I'm a little scared. Right. So. Right. So okay, uh, about you. Tell me your biggest, um, your biggest quality when you're in a relationship. Um, that I give off. Yes. Right. I would definitely say my biggest quality that um, I'm just I'm I'm a lover. I'm a lover. Mm -hmm. I just I'm gonna love all over my man. I'm gonna make sure he's good. I'm also gonna make sure the household's good. Like I want him to come home from work just refreshed and just so happy to come home every single day. That's my, that's my motto. I just, I take care of my partner. So I think that's one of the things that I can definitely, um, you know, give to a relationship. Okay. You know? yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Let me see. Somebody else is here. Let's see. So are you here? Hi, Code King. We're seeing green. I don't know. Do you, you see me? Do you think I'm blurry? Because the chat is saying I'm blurry. Am I? You are? Uh, a little bit. A little bit? Yeah, a little bit. I don't know what's going on mm. with my internet. But hey. Uh, okay, so guys, if you want to come and talk to Suzette, do I say your name properly, by the yes. way? Yes. Aren't Suzette. Wait, are you French, by the way? I am. I hear your accent. Okay, so you know my name is French. So yeah, you're saying yes. it perfectly. Okay, perfect. Yeah. All right, so guys, if you want to come and talk to CZ, this is uh, where you do so. There's a link in the description of this video, and uh, you can also or send me an email at medimonaco1 at gmail.com so you can, uh, I can send you the link again. So just click the link. Yes. All right, let me see. There's Don't people coming in and out, so um, let's see if his camera is ready. There, there is somebody on the camera. Let's see. Let's see. Hello, Kelvin. Can you hear? I don't know. Kelvin is, that's not gonna work. Okay. No. Make sure your lighting is good. Yes, I mean, I'm talking today, but they're saying my, my thing is bad. No, it's um, not. 
It's a little, just a little blurry. It's not that bad though. A little bit. Okay. They're saying the screen is blurry on my hand. I don't know. Very blurry on television, they're saying. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I want to change the, the what's the name, uh, from uh, Wi-Fi, but yeah. I'm scared that it's going to mess oh, up. Oh, that is true. Yeah. So I'm not sure. Hmm. They say wipe off the camera. I don't think it's uh, wiping off. No, no, I think it's, it's just, I, yeah, it's kind of, it? yeah, a little glare. Let me see. I don't think that's better. No, I think it's definitely just a white, the connection. The connection. Okay. Yeah. It depends. Some people are saying you're good. Some people are saying it's not. Mm. So I, I don't know. Yeah. Right, let me ask you some more questions. Have you ever cheated? And if so, why? Oh my God, I haven't cheated since. I mean, I guess it doesn't even high school. <laughs> it doesn't even count. But I, when I did cheat, I cheated because uh, I saw a hotter guy. But in my recent, <laughs> I know, I know. This is high school shit. <laughs> it's high school. Okay, okay. We we give you a pass yeah. for high school. Yeah, but in my recent years, no. I've never had an inch. In, no, I've never had that feeling. You know, I'd rather just cut it off if I have, if I would want to, you know, come out of my relationship. Um, it's just not worth it. It's just, I, I, that's one thing about me. I'm very straightforward. I'm transparent. I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. And if I'm not feeling the relationship anymore, I'm all about not wasting each other's time. So mm -hmm. I'm not going to waste your time. And I don't expect you to waste my time as well. You know, tomorrow's not promised. So I'm all about just being straightforward, you know? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, the chat don't believe you. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Jeez. The chat says, stop the cap. They, they don't believe it. And they say, once a cheater, always one. Oh no, that don't, damn, that don't count. No, I really, and honestly, I haven't been in a lot of relationships. Like, not at mm -hmm. all. Like, I really... I can count how many relationships I've been in. It's like, it's it's actually sad. It's kind of sad. It's not sad. I mean, if, if it's been long, long relationship, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's sad. Yeah. Right. So I haven't had an opportunity to cheat, honestly. Just yeah. haven't had that. <laughs> okay. What is um, something, no, tell us your, your worst trait. My worst trait, oh my God. Okay, it's so crazy because I actually was on time today, but I'm not the greatest time-wise. Like getting ready, I take a, a long time. I'm not always gonna be at the door at a certain time. I'm just, my. I'm, I'm Jamaican, so we're really bad at time. So I will mm -hmm. say that. Um, you're so funny, you said b Watts gonna be mad at you. I'm so done. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I do a lot of comedy skits too, so yeah. Be watch. Shout out to you, Be watch. Um, but besides that, I say that, and then sometimes just because of my past, I have trust issues. Mm. A little bit, a little bit. Of, I've broken those walls down now, but before it was really bad. Like I didn't trust anything any mother ever would say to me. So you know, that's another thing I would say is probably yeah. I, but I've grown from that, though. I have grown from that. Okay. Is it? Uh, so what is it? It's. People have cheated and stuff. So now yeah, exactly. me, we're betrayed. not trusting. Yeah, betrayed me, like really betrayed me. And you know, there's, that's just a daily struggle now, especially when it comes to, you know, friendships and all of that. So it's just hard. Oh, wow. Yeah. You mean friendships? Listen, LA is the what I found out so much shit living in LA. I've cut off too many people in my life. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's just, I can't with the fakeness. So. Okay. You know, hey, hey, I hear you. You're living, you learn. That's kind of it. You're living, you learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. We we have we have more people. We have Jonathan. Hey, Hello. How you doing? Hi, Jonathan. How Hi. So I'm actually part Jamaican. Um, I lived in California when I was a child, and I've been back like once or twice. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. cool. Where are you based now? South Carolina. Okay. That's that's what's up. Mm -hmm. Um, how old are you? 28. Okay, dope, dope. And what do you do for work? I'm a work at Honda. You okay. Yeah. What do you do for the Honda? Do you do like mechanics or sales? 
Um, I do twerking and I put the water bands on and other stuff. Okay, I thought he's. I thought you said twerking for twerking. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> he twerks for Honda. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. And um, do you have any kids? No. Okay. Never been married. Married. No. Okay. Okay. And what are you looking for when it comes to your perfect person? Um, not too much, really. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I do. <laughs> and somebody said, "Yeah, thank you." Okay, you said it for me. <laughs> uh, but Jonathan, what what do you mean? You're not looking for nothing. That's what I was like. Ah, oh, there's no quality. You just, what? No. Yeah. Well, no. Okay. Well, you guys did it for me. Yeah, pineapple. Yeah. Yeah, I did hear I did hear twerking too. I was like, excuse me. I heard twerking. I heard I twer I'm twerking. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's see. Let's see. We got somebody else. We got Dan. Hi, Dan. Hello, Mel. Hello. Who's that? Yes. Hi, Dan. How are you? Oh, I'm doing pretty good in yourself. Wait, yeah. Dan, we can hear you even if you stay like this. Perfect. You don't gotta come close to the screen. Okay. Yep. How's that? Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Where are you from? I'm from Illinois. Oh, Illinois. Nice. Okay. Yes. Nice. And uh, how old are you? I'm 49. Okay. That's awesome. Okay. And what do you do for work? Um, right now, I'm retired. I'm currently in college right now to further my ed education. Okay. What are you studying? Physics and engineering. Wow, nice. All right. And do you have any kids? Have you been married? Uh, I'm I don't have any kids. I haven't been married. I'm single. Wow. Um I don't have to stay in Illinois if if I choose not to. Okay. Okay. And can I ask why have you been single or don't have any kids or is that something that you chose? Or you just I for me personally, I chose not to have them. Um um it's just my preference, and I prefer to be with someone that I prefer to like. Yeah, okay, thanks. I'm sorry, Dan. Sorry. Uh, the chat don't want to let you talk. Uh, the chat is out of control, and quick with it too tonight. No, uh, quick with it, it's in five, Dan. Oh somebody else God. sent, sent a, another one. Wow, y'all are just doing it for me, okay? Bye, Dan. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's Nizi. Thank you for your five dollar. Uh, damn. I have an ex-wife and two kids. To okay. I should call in. And no, I'm not taking off my hat. Well, call in. Call in, sir. Okay. You know? I won't even ask for you to take off your hat. See, call in. Uh, thank you, William. How you argue with someone could make or break your relationship. I hear say you are a lover, not a fighter. Yes. Were you, were you fighting before? I don't know. Did you say you were fighting with people? No. 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 Heck no. I am not a fighter. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. We we got more people for you. Okay. Hi, Kendall. Hey, ladies. Hi. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Uh, hi, Kendall. Where are you from? I'm from Arizona. Live in Phoenix. Oh, wow. Okay. Hot ass state. It'd be hot out there. It is, but it's like 70 degrees right now on the regular out here, so it's a lot better than it used to be. Nice. Okay. And how old are you? I'm 38. Okay. Another 38-year-old. Okay, 38-year-olds. Yeah, we out here. <laughs> I love okay. it. I love it. Okay. What do you do for work? I work. I'm an account manager for, I mean, I manage multi-million dollar accounts for um, a payments company. So oh, we're nice. doing payment processing, give businesses the ability to process credit cards and things of that nature. So... Nice. Yeah. Okay. And uh, have you been married? Do you have any kids? I have two boys. Never married, though. How old? Uh, my oldest is 11. Youngest will be eight in a couple weeks. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah. Why, why have you been married? That's that's a story. Um, one oh. baby mother, though. Um, okay. okay. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's, it's just one of those things where um, life happens. I hear you. Things just didn't work out the way that they should have worked out. So okay, that's understandable. Yeah. All right, and um, do you live? I mean, I see your decor over there. Nice. Do you live in an apartment, a house? Do you rent, own? 
No, I own a house. This is my my house here in Arizona, so I'm doing all right. Nice. Good for you. All right. Yeah. What's up? What's yeah. up? And how tall are you? Five eight. Okay, five eight. All right. I make the cut barely though. No, it's okay. Like I said, <laughs> no, I just listen, I just threw out a number out there. There's no limit to that. It's all yeah. right. No, but you did you didn't meet the cut. Yeah. So, so I, got a, I got a question for you. Yes, please ask. I don't know if I missed this, but like one of the deal breakers for me is like, are you spiritual? Do you believe in God? Or do you pray? Like what type of woman are you when it comes to that? Oh yeah, no, I definitely believe in God. I was actually baptized both Christian and Catholic. Oh. Um, like, yeah, no, I used to pray my grandma all the time, like, like certain time of the day. So yeah, but I'm a big believer in God. Yes, for sure. Okay. Without yeah. him, who are we, you know? Say that again. I said, without him, then who are we? So That's yeah. You got to give thanks for that. Right. Yeah. Right. Kendall, um, I have a question. Kendall, what is, um, what do you provide when you get into a relationship? Um, I'm a protector. Um, I'm a confidant. I, I think the, the biggest thing that I provide is, is stability. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a Capricorn too. So hey. us as Capricorns, we, we stand on solid ground. We move a certain way. Um, we make sure that those in our space, are as good as they can be. So, um, I mean, that's that's the biggest thing. Like, if if you got one of us or a, a person like me on your team, it's all wins. Mm, okay, my mom's a Capricorn, so that's I know I know you guys fairly well. That's yeah. that's that. You guys have great traits, but then again, I've heard of I. You guys can kind of be cheap too. Do you think cheap? that you cheap at all? <laughs> Um, I mean, I don't think I'm cheap. I just, you know, there, there's a way to make sure that you do things to ensure that you're not going broke. <laughs> That's something a Capricorn would say. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same too. I was like, yeah. oh, I'm not cheap, but I mean, I'm not going to go crazy, you know, yeah. I'm at all time. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's a time and a place for everything. One of the big things I like to do is, you know what I mean? I like to enjoy life. I mean, I travel. Um, I've okay. been a couple places you've traveled or your favorite place you've traveled to the bahamas for sure okay yes. okay you're like you like a little flavor okay yeah I like, right. I like i like the tropical vibes um and the biggest thing that i liked about the bahamas was i mean it was a lot of our people there you know what i mean everywhere yeah. you go it's us and the the weather was beautiful the water was perfect um so of all the places that i've been but bahamas definitely top tier that's what's up. Okay. And are you, okay, so you're based in Arizona. So you're not leaving Arizona. Arizona is home. That's where your kids are, right? For the most part, yeah. I mean, I, I travel for sure, but, you know, I, I hear I'm, probably, you. I'm probably, I've set some roots here. So that's, that's yeah. Weird. So, so long distance is not your thing. I mean, I've never done long distance. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't say it's not my thing. It would be something new, new to explore for sure. Yeah. So not I mean, so. I'm not about it. I don't. I hate long distance, but I'm just curious to know where your mind is at with that, because some people are just like, now you would have to move out here. Feel your vibe, okay? So have you ever been to Arizona? I haven't. I actually haven't. And I lived in LA, and I just haven't made my way over there. But I heard it is. I heard it's a fun city. It's a very college city. I'm assuming. I mean, depending on where you go. Like if you go to Scottsdale, which is not too far from where I am. Yeah. A lot of clubs and stuff like that, but. Um, you know, for the most part, it's it's real laid back. A lot of people from the Midwest have moved out here. Um, okay. Actually, Cali and everywhere. So the cost of living has gone up crazy. But yeah, it's a good spot. Like you know, you okay. have, you'll have, you'll have a reason to come visit if you ever you know if, if we connect. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I, Kendall, I, ha I have one question. What's that? If um, you get into an argument with Suzette, what is your way to handle that? Um, I mean, communication for me, effective communication is top tier. So it, it would really depend on what the argument is about. You know what I mean? Like it's obviously I'm not the type of person that's going to go crazy and be disrespectful. And I would appreciate the same, you know what I mean? So, um, I mean, you know, I don't, I don't look at it as an argument. It would be just be a conversation to figure out if we can find common ground. Okay. okay. Suzette, you like, you like his answer? Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. Suzette, do you fight? Do you yell? Me? No. Yeah, yeah yes. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it depends. It depends. If you want to push my buttons purposely, you're going to get a different set of Suzette. So it all 
depends. But I hope we won't have to get to that point. You know, I'm all about, you know, just resolving a argument before it gets to that point. Yes, you said you might be a little spicy. I can see it in you. I am very spicy. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With all good reasons, too. All right. good reasons. Yes, right. yes, for sure, for sure. Okay, yeah, I like your vibe, though. You're dope. You're dope. You're really dope. Likewise, you likewise. Like you have a great head on your shoulders as well. Yeah, so but, I'm just getting everybody that has two kids, I see. I mean, that that's that's what the common number is nowadays, right? I guess so. I just, I'm, I'm late to the game. That's just what it is. Uh, so you, you want more kids, Kendall? Me? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Like, okay. I mean, my, my, my oldest son is always asking me for a little sister, so. Nice. Aww. That's cute. That's cute. You seem like a good dad, too. Yeah. And you're very involved in your kids' lives as well. Absolutely. My young, actually, my oldest, he just made his little basketball team out here. So you're doing yeah. all right. Okay. Okay. That's dope. All right. All right. Well, uh, would you slide in her DMs? Absolutely. I'm sliding. No okay. Slide in my DMs. Here all we right. Go. Thank you, Kendall. All right. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Bye. Did you like okay. him? Yeah, he was cool. I liked him. I liked the fact that, you know, he was. He had his shit together. That's mm -hmm. very important. So that's good. No, he seemed like a good guy. For sure. I liked him too. Did they like him? What do you guys think? Do you like him? Well, there was uh, somebody sent a fifty dollars for <laughs> okay, I'm bored, but it doesn't mean he didn't like uh, he didn't like him. And what? somebody else at this time, okay, that's just a question. At uh, this time in your life, as it relates to your belief, are you waiting until marriage next time that you are intimate? Oh, wow. That's oh, a question. Wow. Wow, I mean, look at the title of his uh, his uh, name of Christ. I'm like, yeah, oh, jeez. I mean, honestly, I I can. I'm all about waiting until the time is right, but I don't necessarily have to wait until marriage. You know, I don't want to. No, I'm sorry. I gotta figure it out before I get into. It. <laughs> I like it's funny. You started by saying I can. I can. Like, you know oh, no, what? No, 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 nah, 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 nah. You gotta make sure if you're gonna spend the rest of your life with someone that yeah, it's good. So yeah, I agree. But good question though. Great question. Yeah. Now, yeah maybe absolutely. We more people. Uh, so now we we got two so far, kind of. Emmanuel yeah. yeah. And uh, Kendall. Yes. Okay. Okay. So they're, they're both not too far from you, right? No. Oh, no, that's great. Oh, okay. and like I said, LA, Arizona's right there, and Houston and New Orleans is right there. Okay. So okay. yeah, I'm all about it. We we got more. Hi, Lex. What's up? How you doing? Hi, How you doing? So, so you're a girl, right? Yeah, I'm a girl. <laughs> well, well, I'm, I don't know if Suzette likes women. That, that's what I'm here to find out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> listen, I mean, listen, you're super cute. You're beautiful, but I don't. I'm sorry. That's, that's totally fine. I'll, I'll talk to you yeah. later. Have a good one. Girl. You too. Bye. Later, later y'all. It was worth a try, though. Hey, listen, she's it's confident. We we didn't talk about that, so we didn't we didn't? You're right. Okay, but, but question: uh, Would you do a threesome with another girl, your no. man, or no? You said no. <laughs> oh, you didn't even have to think about no, it. No, I didn't have to think about that. No, 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 no. I no. carry my man. No, I'm sorry. No, okay. no. Yeah. She's not with that. No, I ain't with that. Nope. You can you can have that elsewhere. Mm -mm. Nope. Okay. Can't do it. Can't do it. Even for his birthday? <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> That's even worse. No. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay, so guys, don't be coming here asking for three sums from Please. Susan. Not happening. Not, not happening okay. over here. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> We have more people for you. We have my my name Holy You. Hello. Hi. Oh uh, no. He didn't. He was like, oh hell no. Hell yeah. no. I'm not talking on yeah. here. Yeah. Um, all right, we got Greg. Hi, Greg. What's up, man? How you doing? Hi, Greg. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How about you? Good. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? I am from. I am from. New York, but I live in, in Florida. Oh, nice. Okay, what part of Florida? I live in, in Central Florida, oh. near Orlando. Oh, nice. Okay, and how old are you? 
Uh, I am tw- 29 and I'll be I'll be 30 in, in November. Okay, that's what's up. All right, awesome. And what do you do for work? I I am in school. What do you go to school for? for I go to school for for cybersecurity. Oh, okay, cybersecurity. Okay, nice. All right, all right. And you're single because? Um, or are you single? Yeah, I, I am. But that is a good question. I'll have to think, think, think on. Okay. All right. All right. What well, was a pleasure? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm at, hold on, hold on. <laughs> because, <laughs> because you are not going to dismiss me like, like that. <laughs> no. Well, you couldn't answer the question. I, I could. I could have. But okay. What? Why are you, why are you single? Okay, so they from, said the chat said he got hosed. Yeah, oh yeah, all right, or is that it? Okay, is that the reason why you can't answer it? No. I I always say it it is because I am I am disabled because before before I was before I was disabled, I I didn't have a problem with talking to f- females mm. but 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 since i have become i have become d- disabled it, it 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 started as i was i was a bit self 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 conscious uh-huh about my about my stutter uh-huh and um and I, I I know how I'll be, how I would have been, if I was in in y'all ladies' sh- shoes. Mm-hmm. Like, mm. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but um, so that I is the you. that is the main reason why. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. Well, thanks for explaining that. Now I understand. Now I understand. Well, you're brave enough to do this, and I'm sure you're an amazing person as well. Uh, and uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I don't want to hear this thing. I, right, I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but I meant it though. I really didn't mean that, genuinely. But go ahead. You, you, you probably, you are, you probably did, did and, and do mean it. But you are not going to cut me off be, be, before I, I, I say what I have to say. <laughs> Because, I'm not cutting you off. Go ahead. Say what you got to say. Because you are beautiful. And Ew. I, I am. I am going to shoot my shot. Go ahead. <laughs> Come on, Greg. Shoot your shot, Greg. <laughs> shoot your shot. <laughs> so, uh, Greg, uh, somebody said Greg won a slow stutter in them panties. <laughs> <laughs> well, that can come later that down the line. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Oh, I'm funny. So okay. Greg, what what do you what can you do for her? As far as like if you're in a relationship with her, how is her life gonna be better? It it will it would be be better, but because one she she would not be at, as she would not be down as much to 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 walk today and and when she com- comes home some some things w- will be done because i am going to be working re- remote re- i'm going to be working remotely so i'll be home um and i can i can also I, and I can also make her laugh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can. Um, I, I can change oil. I can. I can cook. Okay. I can, I can do a lot, honestly. Okay. So they said Greg for president. I'm here with that. <laughs> I'm here with that. That's awesome. Okay, so you bring a lot to the table. I do. Good, good, good for you. I like that. All right. Okay. 
That's it, Greg? We can go? <laughs> you said, we're waiting on you. You haven't said the word. So. Listen, I, Greg, you're an amazing guy. Yeah, I, yeah I, I bet. I bet. Thank Have a good know. day. Have a good day. You too. Take care. Of Sorry. <laughs> Greg said, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Let me talk. I know, I know. He's like, you ain't gonna let me go without what I got. Ah, I'm gonna yep. shoot my shot. No, I yeah. love the confidence though. He definitely had it. He For was sure. definitely confidence. For sure. <laughs> they say Suzette is dope. She is. Listen, i I'm I'm very nice, sometimes too nice. <laughs> you know, you, you let him talk for a little bit and then you yeah. like, we gotta go. Yeah, I had to give him a chance though. <laughs> yes. All right, if I come on you, sir, and you disappear again. Yes, you. Hello. We can't really hear you. No, now you mute yourself. Yeah. Yes. I hear you. There's a TV behind you. Yeah, we hear the TV. No, you don't want to turn it off. You got bees in your hand? Yeah. 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 So we still can hear you. Uh we we're, we're just here looking for a man for Suzette. Yeah, where you from? Wait, so wait, you don't want to turn off the TV? I just turned it down. Turn it off. We still here. We still hear the TV. Yes, yeah. Hold on. Thank you. Yes, a little more. Thank you. Where are, you, where, are the chat? where are you from? Huh? Where are you from? Oh, he's asking us where we live. Oh, I'm in Houston. What's up? I'll come here. Where are you from? Oh, man. He won't even tell me where you from. Man, I'm gonna have to say pineapple. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Could have been my, my day hold you. We can't hear nothing. So, and you want to answer the simple question of where you're from? Where you're from is like, no, this is top secret. Yeah, like what you hiding over there? Uh uh. No, the beads. Somebody say those were ain't no beads. Yeah, no, the beads were not it. I'm sorry. Uh-uh. I wore those when I was like five years old. Yeah, no. I still wear some sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I know. I love it though. I love it. Let's All right, see. let's see. Let's see. We got somebody else. Cold Moss. Hello. Yo, what's good? What's up, guys? Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good and you. Good. Where are you from? I'm from um from Arizona. You from Houston, they said? Yeah, well, I'm not from here, but I'm I'm here right now. I'm originally from Connecticut. Connecticut, East Coast kind of girl, okay. Yes, I'm totally East Coast. What's your name? Is it Mars? Marce. Oh, Marce. Okay, that's what's yeah. up. What brings you to, yeah, Arizona. What brings you to Houston? Oh, I have family here. So just visiting family. That's about it. Very fam very big on family. How about you? I'm pretty big on family too. My family's out here in Arizona. Oh, are you born and raised? Nah, but I'm from here. I grew up here. Oh, okay. okay. But you ever come out to the West Coast, Arizona? No, I've never been to Arizona, but I lived in LA. So, you know, West Coast for like about six years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you... Yeah. No, for real. Oh, thank you, Stilo. And uh, what I was going to ask you, how old are you? I'm 25. Oh, you're a baby. Okay, baby. I <laughs> You're a baby. No, I can tell though. I can tell. You just got a very young in face, which is a good thing. Okay. Is it, well, so how are you looking for then? Like I said, there's not, as long as you're mature, but I'm definitely, you know, in the late 20s ish, you know. But do you have any kids? No, I don't have no kids. Have you ever been married? No. 
Okay. Okay. I'm, uh, uh, I'm I've been busy. Too busy for all that. Oh, why? Why busy? What do you do? I'm, uh, I'm doing physical therapy. I'm finishing my doctorate this year and then I'll be working PT. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll be set. I'm trying to travel around. I'm trying to meet you, though, because you're a little baddie. But I need you to come to Arizona first. Oh, man. I need to come to Arizona. Why is that? It's a busy year. You know, I got a lot going on. So I need you to take a little oh, stop so right here. You can't leave Arizona? Is that what you're saying? You're kind of set in stone in Arizona? Well, until November. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do you want to get married? Like, what's your what's your future looking like? Yeah, I think it's um I think it's definitely time I give me like a long term relationship, a girl I can grow with. I'm not trying to like take care of the girl, like everything, but I want someone to grow with, someone who's already like uh financially responsible and living a good career. I'm not trying to like babysit nobody, you know. I just want to grow with somebody. So you want to grow with somebody. Okay. All right, just like well, we'll ask the same question since we're at it. Okay, household, you're living with your girl. Are you doing 50 50 or are you taking care of everything? 100 percent i'll do either one okay probably, i'll probably do more 50 50 because i'm pretty sure she probably want to do some things better than me but I'm, I'm down to do it all i mean i do it all now so why not uh-huh all right all right and um when was your last relationship when was it yeah my last serious one was like 2022 2021 but it wasn't like official official it was kind of like a situation to be honest okay um, so you haven't been in a serious relationship because I've been too busy. I've been, I've been doing busy. Okay, so you focused. Yeah, focus is the word. Okay. All right, so you don't have no time for no relationship. Why not? I mean, I'm about to finish this year. Okay. All right. All right. I'm now I'm busy. I'm looking for Suzette. <laughs> he said he's looking for a baddie. Those are the words of a 25 year old. That's what I need. That's, come on. I know you. That's all you need? You don't need any other values or qualities? I'm sure you got those. I'm sure you got. Tell me more about yourself, man. What's, like, what oh, no, no, no. We ain't going to go there because I had to entice the conversation for you to. <laughs> you didn't even let me finish. I was going to ask you more. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me Keep more that. about this, this Suzette girl. Like, what's she like? Um, I'm fun. I'm vibrant. I am looking for something serious. I'm looking for something steady and, of course, long term. I'm just at that stage in my life where I want a family. I'm looking to get married and all the whole nine yards. So I'm just at that stage in my life now where I just want to settle down and just find the one. So that's kind of where I'm at right now when it comes to relationships. Um, besides there, I have my head on in the game. I'm very I'm a hustler. Okay. I'm just I can hold my own. But, you know, I do want my man as well to have his own and. To be able to uplift me and motivate me as well. So yeah, it's not a problem over here. So let me let me ask you this. You look like this, you do great. Like, why are you single? What's what's your story? Were you just recently single? Uh no, no, not recently. I just haven't found the one. As you, I'm sure many of you guys know, it's just it's just so hard to find a great guy that wants to settle and only stick to one woman. So I just found that very hard nowadays. So I'm not going to settle for less. I'm not going to settle just to settle. So I'd rather just wait until I find the one. So that's kind of why I'm in the position that I'm in. That's a, that's a very valid answer. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. you know, like the East Coast, I'm sure you're popping on IG like nobody. I, I feel like you're just really, really picky. You know, I feel like. I little, am picky. Little, I am picky. But for all the right reasons. Okay. I have, I listen, I can be picky. I've been single and I'm, I'm the age I'm at. I can't be picky. Shoot. You should be, yeah. I'm not like, going you know? What's the deal breaker then since you're so picky? Like, like if he, like, picks his nose, is that, like, a get him out of here? Like, like what are we talking about? Okay, here? listen, if you're going to talk about hygiene, we can go there because, yeah, I, I have okay. OCD. I got That's OCD, cool. and I need a, a, a clean man. Yes, I know y'all men can be dirty at sometimes, but, no, nah, I guess you're <laughs> together. Some of y'all are. Listen. <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it. Like, he's over there yelling. <laughs> Talking about y'all are dirty. Y'all are dirty. I've seen some dirty ass shit. But yeah, no, hygiene is definitely has to be up to par. You got to smell good. Your teeth got to be nice. You got to be, you know, you got to take care of yourself. Easy money. But that's like your only like, like red flag deal breaker is just hygiene. No, definitely financial stability and, you know, have being career driven. No, that's definitely a deal breaker as well for me. You got to have that. You got to. So, yeah. 
Yeah. So, like, when are we gonna make this data happen? <laughs> we'll see. I got. I want to learn more about you. I don't know. I like your vibe, but I I gotta learn more about you. So, let's see. Hit me up. We can do that. I already know you're not gonna answer, but I'll hit you up. Why you say that? See, you you already getting ahead of yourself. I'm not. I'm not new to this. Like, I've you didn't. Seen... So, what are you trying to say? You've been played a lot. What are you trying to say? Um, I mean, every now and then, like. Girls with like a high social media following, they just tend not to check their phone. It's cool. It's no big uh, deal. So, are you telling me that you be hitting up a lot of girls on social media? No, 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 no. Not that. Not like that. Like I've just seen it. Like you can ask any other any other person that's been on the show, they will tell you they don't answer the DMs. Oh well, I'm different. I don't know about them. I can't. I got. I can only speak for myself. So, yeah, he seems like he's a vet for real. I think yeah, he's slid into a lot of DMs, but I'll give you a chance. Let's let's see. Hit me up though. I will. I, I'll I'll read my DMs. I do. I actually do though. <laughs> well, uh, Cold Ma, she told you hit her up. So please do. <laughs> hit me up. He's a youngin, but I mean, I'm all about giving chances. Let Let's see if mm -hmm. he's even worth it. You know. We'll see. Uh, Slave of Price, thank you. Hey, Melly, would you be interested in a co-host join you on the show to vet the men? I would be game for some shows. Um, I don't know. That would be too many people. A lot. Uh, like that would be four people on here. Uh, you know, it's better they just come and we see we see what we get. Yeah, agreed. Um, I saw Trey was giving you a compliment. Uh, Trey, well, pull up then, Trey. Pull was, up. Yes, C come talk. The dating pool is full of piss and floaters. Okay, it really is though. Uh, Nola Picasso, she lives in H-Town. She wants a rocket, Texan, or Dynamo. Dynamo? I've never heard of Dynamo. Is that a team? <laughs> I don't know. It should be a team, I'm thinking. Uh, Listen, I have no idea about that. I'm, I'm new to Texas, so y'all fill me in. I don't even know what I should be looking for out here. A cowboy? So, uh, I think they're saying that because they think you're dating um, athletes. Are, uh, are they right for thinking that or no? Oh, maybe, but I ain't. That's a, those actually are the ones I stay far away from. Okay. Yeah. No. All we right. don't know right. about athletes. Hell no. Hey. No. <laughs> Let's see. We, we got Tim and Spud Joe. Oh, Tim, Spud Tim, Joe Tim, Tim, oh yo, what's good? What's Hi. Good? Oh, hey, is you hey, up in here? What? I'm trying to. You, yeah, oh. yeah. No, no, no. It's too, well, it's, this is who are we talking to? <laughs> Y'all gonna be talking to Tim. I'm putting him on game right now. I'm his coach. <laughs> Melly, your coach. I'm his coach. Let us talk to Tim then. Give the phone to Tim. That's the worst. Tim, thing, man, say what's up. Time. How you doing, Suzette? Hi. How are you? I'm good. Let me hold the phone. Yes. I'm great. How are you doing? I'm good. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Good to meet you. I'm from Illinois originally, but I live in Vegas right now. Okay. That's what's up. What are you doing in Vegas? I drive trucks. Okay, a truck driver. Yep, yep. yep. country or is it certain coast? I mostly stay on the West Coast. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right, and how old are you? I'm 30 years old. You're 30? Do you have any I kids? know you can't tell because I got a baby face, but. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my I boy is it. smooth. My boy is smooth. He's smooth. You see that? I see broke back truckers. Bro <laughs> 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 Is your friend a trucker too? Yeah, 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 yeah. My truck right, my truck right next to him. Oh, okay. <laughs> my truck is like right next to him. But go ahead, Tim. Here, Tim okay. Go crazy. Go crazy. Do you have any kids? I do not. No. Okay. Do you want kids? I would like kids someday. Yeah, I've okay. dated girls with kids before. Oh, okay. So, what happened to your last relationship? Uh, that ended probably like three or four months ago. <laughs> Why? Um. I think she was not ready for anything that serious. She okay. was uh, traumatized by the man who gave her a kid, I think. Oh, so, I yeah. see. I yeah. see. Okay, that's understandable. Right. Okay. Oh, it's your shot. It's your turn now, shorty. That's all it is. It's your turn now. My turn? Yeah, it's your turn. Don't be Did worried about what happened. Well, listen, let me ask you a question. Why are you so worried about the past for? Listen, I got to know someone's past. <laughs> What that got to do with their future? 
What that, what, do that, what that got to do with their future? It has a lot to do with the future. What that got to do with their future? Some people don't change, you know, but <laughs> people don't change. So it has a lot to do with it. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Thank you. Fat Joe, they say pineapple. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, Fat Joe. Not today. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Do you, I, did can't, you, I can't date like him. They, they travel too much. You don't like that? Okay. He said Pee Wee Herman gotta go. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you guys are so funny. Oh. Uh, okay, somebody asking us, how do I get in? How you get in is you click the link in the description of the video if you're on YouTube. You yeah. gotta be on YouTube to find the link. You cannot find the link on Instagram. So the link is on YouTube. You click it and you enter the room. The room is full right now. I mean, almost full. There is two spots open. So oh. like, yeah, we got we got some people for you. So don't be scared to say pineapple. I know. Okay. Okay. Not, the chat is not always going to save you. Yes, that's right. Okay. Let me. Let me. I'm about to be mean to you, that now. I'm about to really put my A game on now. Okay. okay. Well, sorry guys for the one who are coming. Uh, Jarvis. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Lady? Good. How are you? Hi. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. You know, first off, I want to say, say la Bhutan Demir. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. You know, excuse, excuse my French. Uh, no, really, excuse me. <laughs> but uh, how y'all ladies doing? I mean, you know, Suzette, I just been actually looking at you and I said, you know, you would have a very gorgeous smile. Oh, thank you. I did. That was sweet. Where are you from? And actually, you know what? That's what's what's interesting is that we definitely sharing two things in common, and you know what that is besides being two good looking people. Okay, what is it? I'm right, right between your own. Self, I am a Houstonian myself. Oh, okay. Nice. All right, born and raised. Born and raised H Town. Okay, that's what's up. Where are you? Are you in a restaurant right now? I'm just curious. Oh, I'm actually I'm in I'm in my house. I'm, uh, I have a little area that's kind of decorated. You know, what I'm saying I actually had somebody put it together for me. Besides, also with myself, some you know creative ideas to have a little lounge area. That looks really cool. I I low key thought you were in a restaurant. That looks dope. That's nice. the thing. I, I want I want you to feel comfortable when you come over for dinner. Uh oh. I'm coming over for dinner though. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? At least I'm putting it out there that I stay by myself and I got my own place. Oh, okay. In the house or in the condo? Oh, a condo. Okay. Awesome. Do you have any kids? No, I sure. Have you been married? No, I have not been married. And I forgot to ask you. I, I, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. How old are you? Say that again. I'm 44 years old. 44. Okay. And what do you do for work? I'm a civil engineer. I design residential pipelines, water development for, uh, you know, new residential development. Yeah. Okay. I used to be in oil and gas. I was a, a, a pipeline designer for oil and gas. Oh, amazing. Okay. So would you say you do pretty well for yourself? I mean, I, I, I think so. I mean, you know, like I say, I, I ain't in nobody's basement. I ain't in nobody's, you know, saying living room space where, you know, I can't have my own thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jarvis. Uh, Steve Urkel, no, pineapple. Yo, <laughs> Did you like Jarvis? I Listen, he seemed like he was cool, but the fact of the matter is like he was 44 and he's never been married, no kids. I was trying to get to that point, but I mean, he was okay. a very clean cut, cookie cutter guy, I would say. Which, okay. Yeah, but I don't know if the vibe was there. I don't know if there was chemistry there, honestly. Okay. Uh, that boy won the shirt hurting my eyes. Boy, bye. Okay. Well, uh, thank you, Unities. Um, you guys are picky tonight. <laughs> Yo, for real. Oh my God. And I'm not picky for once. What is wrong with me? We just switch role, guys. I because don't I, don't forget to say pineapple. We have a lot of guys who want to talk to you right now. So okay. if you're not feeling it, say pineapple. Don't get offended, guys. Hi, Jenny. Hey, hey, how y'all doing? Good. How are you? Good. How are you, Suzette? Good. Where are you from? I'm originally from Indiana. Okay. Where do yeah. you reside now? 
I live in Atlanta. Okay, that's what's up. And, and uh, say again. And you? I'm in Houston right now. Houston, okay. Yeah. Okay. How old are you? I'm 38. 38. Okay, that's what's up. And what do you do for work? I am a millwright slash writer. Millwrights are mechanics on machines. We work on like turbines and wind tunnels and things like that. So, oh wow, nice! Did you go to college? Yeah. What? Oh, nice. Trade, trade okay, school. Trade went school. to trade yeah. school, and I also went to the Art Institute of Atlanta as well. We're so stupid. Sorry, I just got distracted. Okay. And attention to the comments. I know. I know. <laughs> Hilarious. Hey, okay. Hey. Hey. Okay, so tell me what why are you single? Like when what are you looking uh, for? I was married. I was married uh four years ago, so I'm divorced. Uh how have... long how long was your marriage? Six years. Oh wow, okay. And you have how many kids? Two. Okay. Who is just a number tonight? Okay, and uh why did you if you don't mind me asking, why did you guys divorce? Um we just had different ideas about what you know, just grew apart different okay. ideas on things and um you know that's pretty much basically what it is okay all right and when what's your zodiac sign i'm a scorpio oh lordy oh here we go Everybody. hi apple <laughs> <laughs> sorry what is it about scorpios listen i y'all scorpios i don't know i don't know i don't mesh well with scorpios all the way especially when it comes to men mm. Okay. No. My friend just don't take them all the way. And he was a little bit dry for me. You know, I have a lot of personality. So I. Ooh, somebody calling um, Suzette. I'm back. Someone was calling me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you hear so, me? Yes, I can. Why can I hear you? Oh, uh, damn. So you got to go out and come back in. It does uh -huh. that sometime when people call you. Okay. Yeah. Let me wait. I'm like, I can't hear. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, I can't hear you. Okay, so leave and come back. Oh, leave and come back? Yes. Okay. So I kicked her out real quick. Hopefully she comes back in right now. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes you get a call, and then when you come back in, there is no sound on, on their side. So um, she, she'll be back. She'll be back. Quick, uh, a quick intermission. I hope you guys are having a great show. Thank you for everybody who is coming to talk. Let's see. She's back. She's back. I need yes. to do not disturb. I forgot to do that. Yeah. No worries. Yeah. Sometimes it does that. If you get a call, then when you come back, you can hear us. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Got, yeah. You. got you. Okay. All right. We, we got more people. Okay. Let's do it. All right. We got Think Space LLC. Hello. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good, good, good. Suzette. You sure, you sure about that? You sure Suzette? about that? <laughs> Lady Suzette. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? Suzette, you don't remember me? No. Look, Justin. Justin? Who is, who, is, who, who is Justin's ex roommate? Oh my God. <laughs> what's your name again? Sherman. Oh my God, hi, Sherman. <laughs> I don't know. This is hilarious. That's funny. How are you? Though? I'm good. How you been? Good. I've known this guy. Well, we met in Miami when I was living in Miami. That's funny. It's all good, though. God, I, I cooked for you and everything, but you're on here. What the hell? I don't remember that. Oh, my God. It was so long ago. That was years ago. How you been? Wait, my, my question is, okay, you guys know each other. Did you date or something? No, 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 no. No, no. we're just we're just friends from my, my ex-roommate. That's how I met her. Yeah. I, so it was too funny. I saw you on here. I was like, oh, I got to come on and just say something. So I'm not going to take up too much time. Uh, but I just, <laughs> but I just want to say. You, though. It's been so many years. When are you coming back to Miami? Soon. I may even be moving back. So, you know. Let's oh, I, I got to tell Justin. Yes. Oh, trust me. I'm still with the brokerage. So I talk to Justin all the time. Oh, I went to his party the other day. Okay, oh, cool. Please. I don't want to hold, I, I don't want to hold up the guys who want to do their thing. So uh, nice to see you, Sherman. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Take care, Bali. Bye. You're welcome. <laughs> that is so we, funny. So you know Sherman. Okay. Yeah, that's hilarious. I was like, wait, I don't know. Did okay. you date his roommate? No, 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 no. no. 
Okay. That's my broker in real estate. Like, yeah. Okay, got you. Yeah. All That's right. Cool. Well, we, we got more people for you. Okay. So, Bring them all. Mike. Chris. Yo. You got a light? I thought I did. Hold on. Let me see. I got my camera on. I don't know if I can. I don't know why I can't see y'all. Yeah, it's black. We can't see you. Uh, maybe come, come out and come back in. <laughs> Emmanuel, you're here? Yes. Another Emmanuel. Hello. I, oh, another hi. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm all right. Why just all right? Say it again. Why just all right? Uh, Cooking a late night snack, a late night meal. What you making? It's uh, it's porridge. Oh, porridge. What's your background? Haitian. Oh, okay. Haitian. So that, when I hear porridge, I'm like, my mom, listen, I love porridge. I love porridge. But I haven't made it at nighttime. I usually drink it or eat in the morning. My mom makes the best. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. What's uh, so how's you here? Where are you from? I'm 25, originally from Haiti, living in New York right now. Okay. What part of New York? Up Bronx, Upper Bronx. Okay. All right. All right. Anything else? Why are you single? What are you looking for? What am I looking for right now? Something that leads towards future. What about you? I'm looking. <laughs> I'm looking for. A science. I get so distracted. You low key kind of pass for it, maybe a little bit. Um, I'm just looking for stability. Someone that's going to, you know, just be that perfect man for me when it comes to, you know, wanting a family and just bringing a lot to the table. So. I keep repeating myself, but yeah, basically that's it. I'm looking for a man that probably doesn't exist, but I know he's out there. There's always somebody for you. What yes. do you do? Say it again? What do you do? Oh, I'm an actress, actress, influencer, and also uh, I do some real estate as well. How about you? Me, I have not found my avenue yet, but so far I'm a sales versus marketing. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Did you go Where are you located? Say it again. Where are you located? New York, Bronx. Okay. The Bronx. Okay. All Did right. Did you go to school for marketing? Say it again. Did you go to school for marketing? No, I went to school for broadcast journalism. So I, I do TV hosting as well. So that's that avenue. And I minored in hospitality as well. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh. Huh? How long ago was that? Uh, school? Yes. Over a decade ago. <laughs> it's a long time ago. It was a long time ago. Oh my God, you're a nice guy, but I'm out to throw the pineapple. Sorry. Sorry, Emmanuel. You didn't like him? He was cool, but he's, see, that's why I said 25. He just gave, he's just young. He doesn't know what avenue he wants to take. And um, just, I don't know. Conversing was kind of dry. Okay. All that's right, okay. We, we got more. Uh, BWC, oh, you're back, sir. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Did we say pineapple for you? No, 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 y'all pineapple him. <laughs> y'all pineapple me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got me, pineapple right? though. <laughs> Sad. Right, <bro>. No, <laughs> sorry. Do like pineapple don't do him like that. What do you mean? See, they've been making I me. Hear, I didn't hear the reasoning. At least tell me, tell me what the reasoning was then. Honestly, well, they threw the pineapple. I, I did. Oh, okay. They threw but, that up. But if I were to give you a reason, I would say you, I know you're a trucker. You're always on the road. And I need some home and, yeah, have that stability. Right. What's the, but you are seem you like a great guy and you're a go-getter. But, yeah, I just need someone that's present. All right. Well, uh, I could be, be present. present. Exactly. I present. I could be present. Well, the, the chat said no. <laughs> See, I'd be trying to be nice. <laughs> Sean, well, you can just no. throw it for me. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, Sean said no. I'm going to save you. Sean, how about you come and talk? You look yeah. at me. Sean, you should come up here. Come talk. I really should. Right. And let's see. We got Ethan. <sighs> oh, I actually got in. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. Look, I'm I'm not actually trying to like do anything. I just didn't think I was actually gonna 
Oh, okay. Well, you gave it a try. How old are you? Um, I'm 14. Oh, my God. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. 14. What are you doing out here? I could tell. I looked at that baby face. I said, wait, no. For sure. Yeah, yeah. they were like 11. <laughs> Everybody's like 11. Uh, all right, we got Sam. Hi, Sam. Hey, how you doing, Melly? Good. How are you? Doing pretty good. How you doing, Suzette? Good. How are you? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty Very good. Voice, deep, deep voice. Where are you from? I'm from Nashville. It, it won't go away. It's been like this for a long time. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I like the yeah. accent. All right. How old are you? Uh, I just turned 40 in January, January 27th. Okay. That's what's yeah, up. Yeah. All right. And um, January 27th. You're an you're a Pisces. No, you're an Aquarius. Yeah, I guess I'm an Aquarius. You know okay. what? I'm, it's somewhere, okay. somewhere like, on, on Okay. Yeah. All right, okay. And um, what do you do for work? I'm an urban planner. Um, so I do community engagement, land use, and development. And then I also paint and I draw. And you draw. So are you an artist? Yeah. Like, what kind of paintings? Um, I paint portraits of people. I do sip and paint parties also. So I, yeah, so I've been drawing since I was like six years old. Oh, wow. So would you say yeah. that's a passion or do you do it for, to make, you know, ends meet? Well, I do it outside of my day job. So I've been doing parties out here in DC. I live in Maryland right now. So gotcha. Okay. Okay. That's nice. All right. And then, uh, why are you single? <laughs> Well, I'm single because the last relationship that I was in, I don't think we wanted the same things. I mean, we had a good time together, but I'm actually looking for some long term. Got it. Okay. And what was the longest relationship you've been in? Longest relationship was about three and a half years, but that was a long time ago. I was in my twenties back then. Mm, all right. Do you have any kids? Yeah, I got a son. Uh, my son, he is six years old and his uh -huh. name is I'm awesome. Oh, nice. All right. Have you been married? Yeah, I was married back in 2010. Um, it didn't last long because I didn't really know what I was doing. So gotcha. it counts, it counts, but it doesn't count. Like you, I, I messed so you up. You got into health. a marriage because you didn't know what you were doing. Yeah, I was young. I was only like 25. So Did it you was the wrong time. No, nah, I was too broke to propose. I ain't had no money back then. Oh, yeah. true. Okay. So did she yeah. propose to you? Nah, we just went to the courthouse. We that's all we did. Like, yo, it wasn't even a real ceremony. Oh, so. true. Okay, okay. Are you looking to get married again? If you want it, like, would you? Is that something you want? Yeah, I I'm definitely looking to get married again. Um, I mean, it just got to be the right person. And honestly, dating right now is kind of tough because I don't know if people really want to get to know each other. You know, and that's and that's what I want to do. You know, I I believe in taking my time and getting to know you. Got you. No, it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I want to ask you. Uh, Molly, help me. Anything else that comes to mind? <laughs> uh, yes. You say I, you have some kids. Do you want more kids? Yeah, I definitely want more kids. I mean, I'm still, I'm still in a uh, point in my life where I can definitely make some more kids and I want to enjoy my life with my person. And I know my son, I know he wants a sibling. So, I definitely want more kids. Okay. How tall are you? So I'm sorry. How tall are you? I'm six foot even. Okay. okay. How much money do you make? Uh, I'm right at a hundred. A hundred k. Good yeah. for you. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. And, and what is your toxic trait? My toxic trait is that I'm not very patient. That, that's something that I've been working on. Um, mm. but. Honestly, the artwork, it forces me to be patient. So I'm right. definitely working on that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up. All right. And then um, regarding like what's, oh, damn. I'm, I'm sorry, Sam. Um, Sean L is back in the building. Uh, I have a woman, but if I didn't, I would be on the first flight to Houston. Oh, bummer, Sean. Oh. I mean, is that bad to say too, though? No. I think it is. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, mean I think if I have a man and my man says to another man, I, I have a woman, but if I was single, I would come for you. I'd be like, yeah. I mean, I would feel, I definitely would feel some type of way. But I respect that he's honest, though. He's like, okay, I cannot be seen. I can't right I, now. I'm just going to pineapples for Suzette. All, all good. All good. 
Thank you, Sean. All right, we got we got two more right now. If you guys want to okay. come, you still got some time, but we're gonna end pretty soon. So come now if you want. Uh, hello, Katie. Hey, how you doing? Good. Good. How are you? Oh, what's up? Where are you from? I'm from Louisiana. Louisiana. Okay. How old are you? I'm 42. Okay, that's Ooh. what's up. Okay, okay. So why are you single? What are you looking for? Um, well, I'm single. I mean, I've been I was in the so probably like two and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. Uh ego was a problem. For her you. Ego. No. You or her? Oh, okay. For her. Okay. Right. Okay. She had a very high. So what's the other question? And what are you looking what? for? Well, people are less know a blessing, so I go with the flow. I'm Aquarius, so okay, no, the vibe, right? Yeah, yeah. Not being, I, I actually be in Houston at the uh, end of this month. Oh, okay, that's what's up for for what? Just for uh, work. What do you for work? I'm a college football coach. Oh, nice. What so, uh, can you use? What college? Uh, up in here in uh, Justin, up in here in uh, Illinois. North are you like the, are you the main coach? Or are you like the I'm a defense the, coordinator. Defense coordinator. Okay. To have did you play as well? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay, nice. All right. Do you have any kids? Yes, I got three. Three kids. How old? 17, 11, and 9. Oh wow. Okay. What All one? Two, three? Uh, How many two. <laughs> two. I was 25, my first kid. I was married, a mother too. Okay. And so I have my two kids in San Antonio, other kid, West Texas. Got you. And how long were you married for? Nine years. Wow. So what happened? Uh, support. I'm saying I, I support the lady that I'm with, but that wasn't, you know, she wasn't supportive of me wanting to be a coach, even though she knew I love coaching. So ah. that's the issue. So I'm okay. starting my college career kind of late, but that's fine. That's good. And I was I was with my kids a lot, so it's uh it's fine. Better late than never. Good for you. Yeah, y'all had a quite y'all had a bunch of weirdos. I really just wanted to get on to talk about all these crazy ass weirdos y'all had. <laughs> that, that going on. Is this is these the choices? Cause that would just it would be too easy. But the dudes in the truck, that, that's 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 too I much. know. Listen, that's why dating is friggin' hard, okay? There's a lot, there's a lot of... What like, makes it hard? What makes dating hard? Just weirdos. There's too many weirdos out there. And not even that well, much. these weirdos are on this. Like, I don't know. Oh, I guess well, this online. is my first time. I'm gonna ask Melly. I, this is my first time ever doing this. No, okay, I mean, so I'm so just gonna you? say that my people who come in to support and talk to the beautiful girls I have are weirdos. I'm gonna say they, they come... No, they no, the dude, the dude, the dude who... <laughs> The dudes who come in and this stuff, they cool. This is hilarious. They've been in some hell of five jokes left and right. But it's been a bunch of weirdos that been on here. But what was your last relationship? My last relationship was a few years ago. <laughs> I was, oh, wow. Why are you laughing? Wow. What, what's so funny? What happened? I've, 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 been date, I've been dating, but like a serious, real relationship was a good like three years ago, I would say. Yeah. And what happened? Uh... I finally cut it off because he was a manipulator and the whole nine yards. He was just a, he just, he was horrific. Horrific. Oh, so it, say that. That's why he was just. Oh, by, how, by how long was you with the horrificness? Uh, for three years. Three oh. years. Yeah. So that's so when did you, when did you figure out that it was like. Um, I try to stay in it, but basically, long story short, he had a baby on me and he lied to me. So that was, that was, I mean, that's, that's ended. That's not, that's just, that, okay. that's no, a team but, but, my, but my dumb self went back after that. So oh, that's no, we, I was brainwashed. Like I was not me. Well, there's all type of cheaters. There's some different type of cheaters. Yeah, so you yeah. have mostly dogs who yeah. have kids on women and stuff like that. Do you have cheaters who basically they with a woman? The woman has to basically be better than that woman, yeah. all type of ways. Then a then a woman has to throw their stuff at at this person, at this man for like months. Mm -hmm. But usually, when you turn a woman down once, she's not coming back to try to talk to you. Yeah. Uh, but mostly, a lot like yeah, ninety five percent of men cheat. Yeah. But that's the type of cheater you want. You want the guy that does that. So, Katie, you're talking a lot about cheaters. Are you one of them? No. 
Because no. you it's gave easy. us all the categories, so he knows it's the no, it's, e know? it's easy not to cheat on a woman because when it comes down to men and women, women gets you know dick thrown at them twenty four seven. Men will have to court somehow. If you take away that part of it, if you stay out of women DMs, if you don't get a phone number, if you do not talk to women. Oh my God! <laughs> JD, the chat, the chat has spoken. Pineapple, no respect for this loser talking down on other men. Who for you? Oh wow! Oh wow! Okay, they came for you. Wow. Well, I mean, you know, I, wait. What's the word for that? There is a word for uh, Max something. Uh. <laughs> Chat, I, tell me the, the chat knows okay. what's the what's the word because there's a word for for men who come on here and uh talk shit about other men dirty mac dirty macking i think that's the word sure. i've never even heard of that wow but hey okay yeah. it is this clearly oh this is this is steve, <laughs> this is steve mac. <laughs> it's dirty macking <laughs> Oh my goodness. But yeah, so he said he's not a cheater. Let's see if he's still around because we can still talk to him for a little bit later. Uh, we got Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi. Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Uh, what's, uh, where are you from? I'm from Chicago. Where are you from? Okay. I'm, I'm originally from Connecticut, but I'm in Houston. Okay. You grew up in Connecticut? Yes. What part? Stanford. Okay. I went to school in Wallingford. Oh, okay. What did you study? Well, it was a press school. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. How old are you? But I studied computer science. I have a computer science degree. Um, how old am I? I'm older than you. Uh, I'm 33. <laughs> oh, you said he's older than me. Okay, let's just keep it that. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? No, 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 no. Don't worry. Don't worry. Nah, I gotta know. I gotta know now. <laughs> okay, you're 33. Okay. All right. So, what do you do? You gotta answer that. No, you can't just skip that. She answered before you missed out. Like she said uh, it earlier. Look, my phone, my camera went on. Listen, all you gotta know, I'm around your age. That's all you need to know. I guess. You got it. So what do you do for work since you study computer science? I'm a software developer at AT and T. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. Corporate. What do you do? I'm gonna say it again. Why Is it corporate? corporate? So I'm in IT. Okay, IT. Okay, got it, got it. Um, Software developer. Got it. Okay, I'm an actor. I'm an actor, influencer, and uh, I do some real estate as well. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what are you looking for? Oh, uh, man, that's a good question. I think I think we're all looking for a woman that's really just uh, really down to build something, have something mm -hmm. real. Mm -hmm. Instead of just, mm -hmm. you know, something just... You know, just for the IG or Instagram, just to Surface have somebody level. on their arm, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, for sure. I hear that. And um, what's your toxic trait? I love that question, though. I'm like, what's your toxic trait? <laughs> my toxic trait. Okay. Um, you want the real answer or my answer? What you mean? I want the real answer and your answer. Fine. The, go, the real, fine. okay, so the real answer is I, uh, I do too much. I jump, if, if I'm in, I go all the way. I go hard. Hmm. And it might not be the best thing for girls who try to take advantage of guys. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So are you just picking those women that take advantage of guys? Like why, why do you keep bumping? Or it's more, it's more of me doing so much and not getting anything back. Gotcha. So what do you expect back? Well, um communication cooperation okay respect okay uh s someone a woman who's able to be or uh, just be serious about life mm-hmm mm -hmm. okay i hear that i hear that instead of you know watching tv being on instagram all day not doing anything productive damn what kind of women are you getting <laughs> well those are the kind of people <laughs> not doing anything for it in their life okay wow okay wow all right, and then do you have any kids? Not really. So my daughter passed away. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. That was it, yeah. So I don't have any kids, but I do. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Wow, I'm very sorry to hear that. Yeah. Wow. Do you have okay. any kids? No, I don't. Do you well, want Do you kids? want any more? 
Do you want kids? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you? Obviously, I do. I feel a void. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Wow. I'm really sorry to hear that. Um. Uh. I'm trying to think. Melly, help me. I'm like, I just that. That's sorry. I mean, I want to go back to the girls that you're talking about that you're what picking. About? So, so you're picking baddies who don't do shit. You guess you could say that. Why? Why do you think you do that? Well, I like women who look attractive. <laughs> I think. Um, <laughs> I, I think, mean, um, so only attractive women, or I mean, most of the attractive women don't do shit. I can't make that statement, but I will say that. Um, because I know each person is different, but I, I will say that a lot of women are a certain way nowadays. Okay. Especially the baddies. Okay. Okay, so let me How ask tall, you. I have one more question. How yeah. tall are you? I'm 6'5". 2'10". Oh, wow. You're tall, tall. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look at me. I'm like, <laughs> how, much, how much money you make? Because I'm thinking, I, I see the, the pattern. How much money you make? So, um, I take, I'm taking some time off right now, but, um, so I mean, usually close to about 95, one team. Okay. Why are you taking time off? I had a loss in my family and I'm just going through a lot. I hear so that. I just kind of took some time off for a little bit. I'm really, really good friends with my, one of my managers. So he's just, he's working with me. Gotcha. So I'm sorry for your loss, by the way, but you taking time off, that means you're stable enough to make exactly. me, you know, wow. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. And when's your birthday? What's your sign? I'm a Virgo. Okay. I like Virgos. Okay. What dope. are you? What are you? What are your signs? Aquarius. Okay. I don't uh -huh. think I had an Aquarius before. Oh man, you had an Aquarius. Look at I you. I have not. You gotta go through your laundry list of what See? you have. <laughs> I said I'd have not. <laughs> oh, you have I not. Think toxic. No, I have like, not. like toxic. Well, I've run into toxic. You don't run. You. <laughs> I wish you ran. <laughs> yes. No, nah, it was just. It's really just. I mean, anybody can be toxic. I think we all have toxic ways. Something to toxic. Just a mm. little. Bit. Mm. Some of them more than others. Hi. Okay. Okay. Well, no, I like your vibe. I feel like you, you have a lot going on for yourself. You know, you're yeah. a great age. I mean, you seem, I don't know if you're looking for anything serious. So that's the only thing that kind of like, eh, I don't know if you're looking for something serious. I've always been looking for something serious. I mean, I'm not sure if you heard um, what I said I'm looking for, but that's really why I'm single. Mm, okay. Okay. And where are you at right now, by the way? Why are you I'm in front of my building, car? so my building, my building is right here. Oh, my, okay, all right. I'm just sitting right here in front of my house. Oh, okay. I'm like, why? Why can't you go into your house? You got, you got somebody. <laughs> you see <laughs> no. what my mind be thinking? No, I'm just sitting right here. I just <laughs> okay. Before. Do you like to travel, by the way? Yes and no. Why? 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 Yes? No. Why no? Why no? Um. After you've been a few places, it's like I kind of want to sit at home right now. <laughs> okay, you you're know? a homebody. Okay, do you, I could be? I can be. I'm a little bit of both. Have What's you been that? out the country? Yes. Okay, where? I've, I've been to Jamaica. Uh, been to Aruba. Okay, just making sure you have a passport. Okay, all right. I do have a passport. Yes. <laughs> Got it. Do you own one as well? <laughs> of course. No, I travel all the time. Yes. That's okay. like, I love to travel. Okay. okay. That's my okay. thing. Mike, I have one more question for you. Sure. So since you want to get away from those girls, what are your new standards? What are you looking for in your women now? Man, that's a great question. I am looking for someone who wants to build, who something who, someone who wants to do something productive. I don't like for my woman to sit on Instagram or TV or her phone, or just not do anything. I like to be productive. I like to get out. I like to do stuff. I like to learn. I like to read. I like to have a partner, not someone I'm just around or with, or just having you know relations with. Barely see him. Barely talk to him. Okay. So what does she have to do? Because you said everything you don't want her to do. 
What does she need to do? Everything. Who is she? Just your, uh, you're, you're the one that you're looking, you're looking for. What does she need to do? She needs to be supportive. She needs to be smart. She needs to be cooperative. She needs to listen, respect. Yeah. Um, I think that's enough. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think that's good enough. Okay. Okay, and then the last question I have for you. Okay, you're living with your woman 50-50 or are you taking care of her? Oh my God, this? I hate this question. But I'll No, I have to that. ask. So this is coming from a guy who's, like I said, I always do too much too early. So I'm the guy who, you know, if I see something, I'm going to pay it. If you're with me, I'm going to do, I, I do any and everything. And that's probably why it's easy to uh, take advantage of people. I hear you, but, but I don't want to do that anymore. So that's why I said I hate this question is because it can be taken for granted. Hmm. So if who's I'm making your that? life a lot easier, if I'm building you, if I'm paying all your bills, if I'm paying your way through school, if I'm flying you around, if I'm buying you everything, what am I getting in return? A whole lot. The, well, depending on the woman, depending on her. Right. But, and what I does mean, that I look like? Everybody very, everybody's different. So, what does okay. that look like? What does it look like? Um, yeah. You're going to get everything. When I say everything, in a sense of like, first and foremost, I believe in a, a gentleman being a gentleman. So, I'm not going to be on a dinner date with you and split the bill with you. I'm definitely not doing that. That's not, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. I don't think any I woman real, but I'm room. not. That does, that does, you're not saying much when you say that. You understand that, right? What What do you mean? You're not saying much when you make mm -hmm. that statement. You're not saying much because 99 percent of women won't pay. True, but you just said that you've you've stretched your arm out so much that you're not doing. I that. said I would prefer not to, but that's in me. It's who I am. Got gotcha. you. Yes, because I would want someone to naturally want to do it not feel right. like they're forced to do it or they're trying well, to meet this you know so what if you I'm know saying? any virgos then you know that we love helping we love yes mike i'm sorry and uh, they said enough i tried to stay quiet <laughs> pineapple soup I'm oh done. my god y'all are ruthless oh my god <laughs> your time is up oh my god Okay, so okay, they 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 took care of Mike. Did you like him? I did at first, but then I started not to. Really? Why? Because, I don't know. I just wasn't liking his answers about that. I mean, I'm I love the fact that he, you know, he loves to help because that's amazing. I'm like that too, and I love a man that, but the fact that he's probably has had bad experiences doing that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's ever going to break. Like, I feel like even if I were, if you were to pay for something, then he's going to expect something right out of me because he's just so used to getting hurt in that sense. I don't know, but he seems really nice. He was really attractive. I, I, th I think he will still do it. <laughs> I, I mean, should I hope he hit me up, hit me up, <laughs> hit me Mike, up. That's Mike, fine. DM her. Yeah. That's, DM her, that's her IG. Suzette underscore James. Hit her up, DM her. Yes, hit me up. I mean, I liked him. I hope he gets out of the, you know, dealing with women that don't do much for him. Me too, because I'm going to go all out for my man. If you're taking care of me and you're making me feel like a queen, I'm going to make you feel like a king instantly, without a doubt. That's just mm -hmm. who I am, you know? Okay. So that sucks that he's been played like that. But anyway. Well, hopefully uh, he meets you and uh, you do him right. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> all right. We got... Two more and I let you go. Okay. Marta Villas Robinson. <laughs> What's up? Hello. Hi. How are you? Dang, I'm trying to, I'm good. I'm trying to find some good lighting for you. Right there. That was on right now. Yeah. You, the way. Well, you just got to turn, turn a little. Right and right there, kind of. Yeah. yeah. Good. My head. <laughs> right here. Yeah. You have right a nice here. smile. I like your dimples. Thank you. I appreciate it. Where are you from? I'm from Georgia, but I'm in the Dominican Republic right now. Oh, you're not you're on vacation? Oh. Yeah. You're on vacation or where you live? Say, say that again. Is it for vacation? Yeah. I'm just here oh. chilling. 
doing a by little reset, you know what I'm saying? By yourself or did you go with friends or a girl? Uh, by myself. Wow. You travel yeah. by yourself. Yes, ma'am. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. All right. How old are you? Uh, 27. Okay. Do you travel often? This is my first time out of the country, but I do like camping trips by myself and state to state. Why by yourself? Uh, the thing that you were saying earlier, like about um, a girl coming to dinner and then you ask her to split half. Yeah. I'm learning like if you invite somebody somewhere, you should be comfortable taking care of that person that you invited. Yeah. So not because I can't take care of somebody that I invite. I just haven't, I don't have someone that I'm comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Taking care of. So I didn't okay. invite nobody. <laughs> Martavius, I'm sorry. Uh, baby boy slinging. <laughs> sorry, Martavius. <laughs> sorry. But honestly, I don't you think. Like him? He looks cool. He seemed, I didn't even get to get the gist of him. But I mean, from what I, I, I didn't like, he just went out the country. And two, he hasn't experienced taking care of someone mm -hmm. in any regard. So he's a loner, which is, I hope he grows from that. I do hope he grows from that. Okay. But no. Uh, we have Romeo. Romeo, sorry. Hello. Romeo. How y'all doing? Good. How, good. how are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Yeah. That's so, man, man, I, so I wanted to ask a question. So uh, why, why are you single, Suzette? I'm single because I haven't found the one and I've been single for quite some time now. So I'm just not going to rush into something, just to rush into something. I'm looking for something serious and I'm just not looking to play around and have these like quick little dates anymore. So, you know, that makes sense. That's, that makes you said sense. raspy. I'm so dead. <laughs> so, yeah. no, that makes sense. I feel, I mean, I feel the same. How way. about you? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm single because man, I've just been focused I just been focused on uh my peace because I've been through certain situations where it's like uh females they just come around you know like they come around and uh don't have much to offer. I'm the type of person if I'm when I'm looking for a wife, right? I'm looking for a wife that we could be, we could be a power couple together, not on some Beyonce Jay Z BS. I'm talking about real life, real life. Like mm -hmm. like I'm uh, you were saying something earlier about uh 50 50 or paying or mm -hmm. a guy paying whole. I mean I don't. It depends with me. So so for example, like I'll pay, I'll pay, I'll pay all the bills if that's if that's what it takes. But at the same time, if I leave, then what you gonna have afterwards? Hmm. You know what I'm okay. saying? I like. At the end of the day, I want the I want the female to feel powerful. I want her I want her to feel like she has some power as well. So pay like yeah, if you want to pay for some things, you can. If that's what you want to do. Yo, Grace. <laughs> I'm sorry, Romeo. That shit is too funny. That's masterpiece. Grayson, you need to chill. I like Romeo. Me too. <laughs> Maybe he sticks around so we can talk to him some more. Um, oh my god, that was so funny. Anyway, that was hilarious. Oh my god. Zita, Hi. Your mic is off. Yo, good evening. How y'all doing? Good evening. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Should, uh, just coming to shoot my shot at Suzette. So okay, okay. Where are you from? How old are you? I'm 30 from Birmingham, Alabama. That's what's right. up. Okay. What do you do for work? Uh, shoot, I was a football coach. I had to get up out of there. Shoot, now wow. I play good time. Why did you have to get out of there? Shoot, the high school scene, it wasn't, it wasn't going right. Wow, shoot, so we have good. one that says it wasn't going right. The other one loved it. We had somebody else here that was loving it. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, shoot, the scene down here is a little bit different. Shoot, the football is, is serious. Mm, I see. I see. Okay. I see you wearing a hunter shirt. Do you hunt? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> what do you what do you kill? Deers. <laughs> oh de damn, deers. Do you eat yeah, it? Of course. Should I got some uh, deer necks in the uh, fridge? Oh shit. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to say pineapple. I'm sorry. <laughs> really? Why deer? That that's done for you? Nah, I'm sorry. <sighs> I don't know. And I'd be, hunters kind of intimidate me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like. I mean, he's not asking you to go. 
true, but mm. <laughs> Grayson was on it talking about <laughs> turn up the game copyright infringement. That's true. I, I thought about it too, and then I was like, ah, maybe he's in front that's gonna fly. Oh, oh wow, he's on it. You he'd be looking out for you for sure. Love that. A slave of Christ is back. Why do you think the type of man you are looking to be found by hasn't approached you? If he has, then why did you end up uh, end the relationship? Um, uh, why do you think the type of man you were looking into uh, hasn't approached you? Um, I do think I don't know. I feel like maybe he has approached me, but I was just not seeing the signs right away. And one thing about me, it's like I I have a short it's in time like if i don't feel it right away like i told you guys earlier i cut it off really quick because mm -hmm. i don't want to waste any time so i mean when i say i don't want to waste any time i got my eggs frozen <laughs> like i'm not Ooh. playing i'm not okay. playing. so like i did i'm taking all the precautions measures so it's like i just don't want to waste it. i don't want to hurt anybody i don't want to develop any stronger feelings for me to hurt you and vice versa so mm -hmm. i'd rather just not even take it there you know Okay. Hopefully that answered the question. But yeah. Yes. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Mike wanna talk. Look, man, y'all niggas is crazy. Bro, first of all, look, niggas not simping. I've been like I'm a college athlete. I know you don't like athletes, sports, whatever, but I literally I can get some girls, okay? I can I have my fair share. But my point is I don't want another liability because mm -hmm. niggas spend money and it be gone, and then the girl be gone when the money gone. Okay, okay. But it's all about so experiences, no? It's not about simping. It's like, all right, if I can do this, if I got the bread, I'm going to do it. But okay. I'm not just throwing my money out just because just cause she bad. Like, I get... I'm, I, it's not hard for me to find me. I'm going to leave it at that. And, it's, <laughs> and my point is, I don't want to do this without knowing that it's going to come back. I don't want to pour into this if not knowing you're just going to be doing whatever. Right. But I feel like that's that part. stages of getting to know someone. Exactly. You know, it's a gradual thing. I'm not saying I agree. pay all her bills right away, but I'm just saying like. Well, okay. So look, so look, if you, if you came to me, let's say right now we go out on the date, I take you out, I pay and you know, next week you say, Hey man, I'm really hurting. I'm about to get kicked out, or I, my car is broke, or this or that. I'm gonna do it because I fuck with you. Okay, okay. You have a genuine. And, okay. And if it keeps. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right, Mike. Uh, we're done with you, bro. Get out of here. Oh my God. Mike, she told you DM her. So I just, did. Let's go to the DMs. DM. We'll have that conversation in the DMs because the chat is not having you tonight. <laughs> this is say less choose Suzette. Yes, we're choosing Suzette. Now. Why are you ignoring my super chats? How am I ignoring your super chat, sir? I'm not. No, you've been on it. Yes. All right. We I, I've been telling you two more, but there's more people coming in. You have more time? Oh my god. Okay, let's really do two more. Okay, just pick the best ones, the best two. I know. It's Close your eyes and pick it's it. It's because it's like six of them right now. Oh, my God, guys. Well, you can go faster. Okay, I'll go faster. I'll go faster. Let's knock it out. Just say, you can say pineapple or whatever, or you can quick talk, and then you tell them, hit my DMs. Okay, let's do it. Hello. What's up? Hi. What's up? How y'all doing? Good. How are you? Man, I'm Gucci. I'm Gucci. How you feeling? Where you, Where you Wait, from? A little bit. A, uh... I don't know what's going on. Yes, I just hold it in my hand. Perfect. I'm from Florida. What part? Damn. I'm from uh right perfect. Right, right good? Yes. All right, okay, okay. I'm from Naples, Florida. It's like uh it's not too far from Miami. Oh, you okay. That? Yeah, Naples. I know exactly where Naples is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. How old are you? You won't believe it. 36. I'm sorry, 37. My birthday just passed, man. Just Happy good. belated birthday. Appreciate okay. you. Please. Happy belated. Yeah. Okay, what do you do for work? I'm an athletic director and a behavioral youth counselor at a private school. Nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, All right. work with the kiddos. Okay, that's what's up. What age? Uh, K-12 through 8th grade. Nice. All right. And 
How much do you make yearly? Sorry, Ooh. I got to throw these questions out there. Pockets. No, nah, um, I think I want to say about close to 90. I'm, I'm touching 90 because I got a private business on the side. I do training. I do personal training. Oh, you do nice. personal training? Yeah. Okay. Youth athletics. D1 oh, nice. development. All right. So yeah. you work with kids all around. Yeah, I do acting too. Actor? I got a, I got a book. Uh, I do poetry. I do a little music. I've been to Cali before. Uh, I did a little work with Chris Brown's, not Chris Brown exactly, but his uh his A and R. We did a little work, man. So okay, so you you're just a jack of all trades. There you go. That's what they call me, <laughs> but not Jack though. Just all trades. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any kids? No, I don't have no kids right now. Do you want kids? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, you're always around kids. I'm curious. Okay. Yeah. All right. I all wanted right. to ask you something. Speaking of yes. kids, um, ask me. I heard the last thing I heard you said you had your eggs frozen. Yes. Let me try to get this camera shit straight real quick. Hold on. Talk to you. <sighs> oh, he has to right. sit with himself. What happened? No, no, nothing. Oh, so so you said you had your eggs frozen. What's what's the reason? Um you because pressure into having kids? No, not pressure. I just wanted to. I wish I did this sooner, honestly. And the society, society doesn't let women know as well, like you, you should, especially sure. in your early 20s. That's when you're going to get the most eggs. But I felt like, you know, I was just reaching an age where I got scared. And I just, God forbid, if anything were to happen, they're just there. And it's just a just in case measure. I okay. hope to not have to use it, but they're there just in case. That's smart. Um, yeah. So I hear a lot of women talk about that biological time clock y'all got. Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, but, it's true. I mean, now it's getting later and later and later. You see, you know, women having kids in their late forties. Yeah. But you know, it's just a, it's just a precautious measure. So that's why I did. Nah, it. Right on. Um, yeah. I'm at that age now. where like, um, I'm down here in North, well, up here in North Florida, visiting my, um, my mama, and they've been asking about kids because, um, my mom, she owned a daycare, and my sister owned a daycare, so they try. True. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The chat has spoken. Racism, Kenan, uncle. Stop. Oh, Grayson. Oh, no, listen. Grayson don't play. Grayson he don't, don't play. play. Uh, somebody else said something too. They're sending them super chats. They're like, you need to go. It's, it's a speed round. Okay. Hurry all right. up. All right. All right. Sorry. We don't have that many more anyways. So, okay. yes. Chibs, hello. Hey, what's up, Melly? Hi, Suzette. How are you? Am I, am I, did I call it right? Yes. Susan. Yes. Where yeah, are you from? What's up? Yeah, I'm from Nigeria. Okay. How old are you? I'm my late 30s. My job is to entertain you, girl. I, I, I see you in Austin, Texas. I, I, I checked your Instagram handle. It was lovely. Oh, you, you. You, you're from Jamaica, am I right? Originally my, from Jamaica. Yeah, my family. Yes, yes. Okay, my job is to entertain you. So, girl, um, I got, I got intentions from Justin Bieber. I know, I know Justin Bieber is for the younger generation, but like, I don't know if you're okay with that. Okay, Justin go ahead. Bieber. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, we're going to. Come on. Picture perfect, you don't need no filter. Go just mix and drop that, you killer. Show you with all my attention. Yeah, these are my only intentions. Sing the kitchen cooking up, got your own bread. Got to give me what I said. Make sure that no need no mention. Yeah, these are my only intentions. Repairs, you don't need no prover, no, re no rebuild, no refuser. Okay. You know, you got the upper hand now. Nope. <laughs> Good. A for effort. A for effort. A for effort. Thank, thank you, Chips. Uh, I'm trying to find one more good one. Luis? Hey, what's up? What's Hi, up? how are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good. Where are you from? New York. What part? Westchester. My brain. Oh, shit. I'm right outside. Okay, I'm from Stanford, Connecticut. Which is like <laughs> I always I always went into Westchester. Okay, how old are you? Thirty. All right, that's what's up. And what do you do for work? I work on Sub Zero, um, Colvin and um Wolf. I'm a technician. Uh, oh, a technician. Okay. Ace Vat, Ace technician. Okay, got you, got you. Okay, and do you have any kids? No kids. What are you looking for? A wife. 
what With kind of thumbs crop. up. I know. I don't know why. Why is that happening? I don't know. I don't know. That's a sign. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is it a sign? <laughs> <laughs> What's your background? Background. Uh, are you black American? I, I, what say are it you? again. Are you black American? What's your background? Yeah, I'm a black, a black American. Okay. I did that ancestry, ancestry thing, so it's saying like Nigerian and everything like that, but I don't speak it. Okay. All right. When's your birthday? July 5th. What are you, a Gemini? No. no. Cancer. Cancer, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're Cancer. Are you emotional? If somebody hurt my feelings. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 50 50. Everybody get emotional. 50 50, 50 50, or you're paying for everything? I'm 100. Okay. Oh, that's what's up. Okay. You said no kids, right? No kids. So you want to get married? Of course. I was okay. engaged and it didn't work out. Why? She lived far uh, at the time. This was what, four years ago. Uh, she moved to Georgia. She was about to be a doctor and I, um, I wanted her to, to proceed in her dream and she she just didn't. Uh, she was right there. Like um, She just had to go to resident, residency. Yeah. And at the time, I was working at the hospital doing valet. I didn't get my career yet, but um, I was still pushing her. And she basically didn't want to be a doctor. Uh, what is it? A pediatrician. Uh, pediatrician. Okay. Yeah, well, that's so okay. You had a good quality woman. We didn't work out because of the long, long distance. Got you. Okay. So speaking of long distance, are you stuck to Westchester? Are you like... Yeah, I lived there my whole life. But are... Oh, you live... Are you... Would you move out of Westchester? Are you yeah, stuck? The opportunity is right. Okay. All right. Okay. Hit me. You sure. Yeah. Hit me. What's your Instagram? All right. I'm going to screenshot that. Screenshot that. All right. Well, nice to meet you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Huh. All right. That's it. That's it. I'm going to let you go. Okay. We did it. That's it. We did it. So, okay. So we have like a good four or five, I think. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I definitely remember Emmanuel in the beginning because mm -hmm. that's just, there was another Emmanuel, right? Yes. Oh, but you didn't like him. He was 25. Oh, oh, oh. I, I see. I'm going to mix up with the names. You no. Know, so we have Emmanuel. We have Mike. Yes. Mike. Outside. We have Luis. Mm -hmm. it, it's another one. Oh, did you like True? Yes, I like True. I think I like True. I think I did. Okay. He got kicked out. He, yeah, he got kicked out. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's four. And there's another one. I forgot his name. Damn. Damn, I had a lot of... Okay. They're going to hit you up. I mean, oh, even the, it was a cold moss. You told him to hit you up. The, oh, he was yeah. young, uh, yeah. finishing up his uh, doctorate, I think. Or his yes, PhD. yes, yeah. I remember. Okay, yeah, I'll be on the lookout for those DMs. Let's see. Yes. All right. Well, I appreciate you. No, thank I, you. I had so yes. much fun, Ali. Seriously, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming, being on time, being super responsive in the DMs, because I'd be yes. having issues with some of them girls. I can't imagine. <laughs> yes. Like, I, I feel like a dude sometimes, and like, like hello? Ghost me and they don't answer and all that shit. But yeah. Oh, my God. Well, I'm glad really it worked out. I appreciate you looking out, and I had so much fun. Thank you. Me too. Guys, this is her IG. Go check her out. Suzette underscore, uh, underscore James. Yeah. All right. Any, any last word for, for us? No. Thank you guys for sticking through the show. And thanks for supporting Melly, of course. And we had a great time. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Hit me All up. Right. Yes, I will. All right. You have All a good right. night, Suzette. Bye. Night, night. Bye. 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 All right, guys. That was Suzette. If you didn't get a chance to talk to her, this is her IG. Go DM her. Uh, what else you can do on there? You can call. <laughs> you can try to call. I don't know if it's going to go through. Uh, what else? What else is there? Uh, like, comment, do what you need to do so she can see you. Hopefully you guys that uh, talk to her, you know, she's going to answer. And uh, Grayson reminding me to not forget my promo. Where is the book? <laughs> Thank you, Grayson. Uh, the book is still available. For whoever wants it, needs it, whatever, just want to support. You don't need it. You already know what you're doing. That's not the right thing. Here we go. So if you want to go check me out, that's my book. There is a course if you don't feel like reading. With the course, you get uh, a video with me, one-on-one -on -one call, just me and you. I don't record. You can tell me your secrets. I'll keep them. You know, or we can just have a cool conversation and that's it. Um, but yes, yeah, so you can find 
all of these on shop medi uh what is it <laughs> at shopmedimonaco.com that's the name of the website or that's the email address oh you say email address no i don't i don't know what i'm talking about it's late uh but yes go at shopmedimonaco.com cop something from me please and thank you well guys what did you think about uh the show what did you think I want to know what you thought before we go. Let me talk to y'all a little bit. Uh, Grayson, a blocker. Okay. <laughs> what else? How was the show, guys? Tell me. Thank you, Jose, for putting the link in the chat. Um, I don't know. This was a good one, Melly. Thank you. Please. Shit, you guys are going too fast. Uh, please like and subscribe. Yes, do that for me. I never say those things. Thank you to my uh, moderator, Chemistry, and uh, Jose. Thank you. Uh, Many give us a 360. No, I just look at myself and I saw cellulite. And I was like, what the fuck is this? So no, it's not going to be 360 <laughs> anytime soon. I need to go fix that shit. Uh, reboot the computer. For what? What happened? Um, she looked like Shaka Khan. I can see that. Suzette is a gold digger. What are you talking about? She just want to live uh, a good life, you know? Uh, Melly Prego. No, one more time. I am not. Cellulite is nice and natural. Well, thank you, Cronking232. But it's not looking nice. I do not like it. Uh, the wall, baby. <laughs> the wall. Thank you. Thank you for putting me in the wall uh, category. Somebody said, real men love cellulite. Thank you, Christopher. Uh, Grayson said, time to go. Oh, now I got to end the show, Grayson. Okay. Uh, what else I want to tell you? Uh, okay, uh, for Unclassified, I don't know if you guys watch Unclassified. If you do not, I hope I will see you on Friday. This week, we're doing Unclassified on Friday. You know, I needed a little day off in between. So Friday night, come with your drinks. Uh, come laugh because we're going to laugh a lot. I have four people for, I mean, we're going to be four all together for, uh, unclassified two girls, two guys. We're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, if you don't come to unclassified, we, uh, I believe I have a live with, uh, Nick and, uh, Gilbert on Sunday. I believe I, I will confirm and, but that's during the day. So hopefully you guys show up too. Uh, what else? What else I got to say? And then if you don't show up for the rest of the week, I'll come back on Monday with uh, the pineapple show. And hopefully, um, hopefully, yes, Matt Prescott is going to be there for Unclassified. So if you don't come this week, we come back next Monday for the pineapple show. I have a cute girl. Also, I want to address, uh, I saw you motherfuckers, not, not all, but whoever said that. Um, somebody in the comment talking about there is no dark-skinned women that can come on my show. Like, I have a problem with dark-skinned women. First off, I DM every type of woman. Black, Asian, light-skinned, dark-skinned, uh, Indian. I DM really everybody. Whoever answer is who we get, okay? So I do not want to hear some, like, colorism type of shit because the dark-skinned girl don't want to come to the show. This is not my fault. Okay, please and thank you. Um, so that's it. That's it. Uh, that's 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 my little rant that I had uh, to give you. I bring the girls who want to come. That that's what it is. I'm DMing everyone, everyone. All right. So so that's all we got. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Somebody said Meli doesn't like Sri Lankan women. I DM uh, Indian and all of that. So I, I don't know what, what you're talking about, Sri Lankan or all, all, all races. Okay, please and thank you. Uh, that's it. All right, guys. I hope you had a good show. I had a good show. I had fun. I will see you uh, either Thursday, uh, either Friday or Sunday, or if not Monday for another pineapple show. I appreciate you guys and uh, you have a good night. Bye.